Yes, the moments I've been waiting for. The quiet kid and the homie from the 1800s on a track. Perhaps should I say the quiet kid from the 1800s? <laughs> She loves her liquor, she likes to stick out her tongue. I give her hundreds and ones, actually corns, but I still have fun. I'm turning up for the times I've known, it made me tick, I intended to pun. Yes! I remember the times I was on my own, too many times. You failed me, so I let you go. You can all jump in the nest, like Halleck, we do it the best. Yeah. There was days I had no rest, now it's with girls and collect. Yeah, yeah. Total Change. If I don't change, then who will? But I've always been 
y'all, cause this is it. The beat that I'm banging is delicious. You tasty J, to the A, to the S-T-E, my girl, you tasty J, to the A.
you better watch you better you better you better watch you better you better you better Well, 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 hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hello, 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 everyone. I know it's a very strange day indeed. We got a lot of different types of content. But yeah, we got a lot of content to go through. Um, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to my uh, audio thing. But uh, yeah. Well, let me just put it at, instead of just putting it at the normal intro, because I don't know what the hell happened. But hello, good evening, everyone. So we got a lot of very fancy stuff. But yeah, hopefully um, everyone's having a good time. Sluggy, you hamster, please start soon, Mari Hurts. Mari, why are you in pain? What what is ailing you, Mari? Today today is a good day. Today is a day of good things, very many good things. And uh so I guess someone finally uh learned. I guess we all learned uh I had a uh 
now recording episode. I guess we can finally uh, reveal that. <laughs> we can fi- uh, knee slid out of place again. You know, here's how you solve that. You steal the knees of someone that does not have messed up knees. That's how you solve that. But in all seriousness, I do actually hope that you recover. Ah, man, you guys really want to know uh, what's what's happened today. Well, 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 well. You know, there was a now recording episode. (laughs) There indeed was a now recording episode. What the fuck just... God damn it. Did nothing actually even work? Am I, am I losing my mind here? What the fuck? Um, let's see. Deactivate. No, I have this. Sh- and then we hit activate. Is it gonna show? Is it gonna work? God damn it. Wait. Settings system. God damn it. You know, there are times that I lose my mind a bit. I was indeed uh, hoping that this was not one of those times. <sighs> okay. Please work. Come on, you've You've worked before. I don't know why. Come on. Please work. Ooh, woo. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. There we go. 1920 by 1080. We will keep it at a consistent 60. Hey, it works now. Nice. Um, You're going to be an old fuck in a week, you know? I fully, I am fully not surprised. Welcome to the elderly, I guess. Actually, I should be saying that about me. Because I've, I've gotten a little bit old. Discord has rebanned me past, yeah. Yeah. Discord uh, has a lot of crazy things that go on, but that's what we get by using a service run by furries. Those damn silly little furries. Them little oo machines. So, um, hopefully we can uh, see a new thing kind of pop up. Yep. So, heads up, found out hard way, don't use. Yeah, that's why I had to, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I swapped to a real email and I swapped to my actual phone. But I am very happy to uh, talk to you guys. So the first topic, of course, is the now recording episode. Let me let me put in my timestamp because I feel like it it'll be kind of interesting. So yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. there we go so we started at 8 30 p.m Ooh, it gave me a normal thing so it is 905 motherfucker p.m 35 minutos minuses so So yeah, hopefully I, cause I wanted to kind of say this, it's a fun little show. I'm glad that we can uh, have a bit of fun with this. Hey, what is up everyone? I am now Doug. I have become Doug. I am Doug now. Look at me. I'm Doug. Hey Kanga. Hey Meg. Cthulhu. Berries. Mari. 
Yidiot and Sigs. Hey, no worries. No worries. Doug, 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 Doug. So we're going to start off with our now recording section. Before, don't talk until I introduce you, so. <laughs> Beavers. Wait, Toxic's back? No. Cor the, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, I'm having a stroke, bro. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Can D-Max watch one more, and then we can go? Guys, no, 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 no. I, you said no. I could bring the fonts in, you fuck <laughs> ass. <laughs> Not showing it. Fine. I did like sense to you. <laughs> Do it later. Hey, you guys got any topics? No, we're just gonna watch uh, foot videos all fucking day. <laughs> no, man, they didn't have feet. They were amputees. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. It's like, gonna watch amputees. I don't know if uh, I think Toxic's back, but I'm not gonna speak definitively just for the sake of me getting it wrong. <laughs> but... This episode was actually kind of interesting to uh, be part of. Like, it was it was just fun. Unironically, it was fun. So I can't I can't say more than enough. This was fun. So, yeah, let's continue with the uh, reaction. It was a, it was a toe like it was like a toe pimple pop video. The beaver said. I don't I never understood the fucking ah, <laughs> the fucking toe pimple popping. Ew. Just yeah, ew. Alright, thanks. What? Have you no? watched it? No, <laughs> we're doing the recording. Beavers, <laughs> is something wrong with you? Like you got like ADHD brain. Like, can you just I like do. not like you want me to take my Adderall? Yeah. Uh you know, Beavers is a mood. He is a fucking mood. He's an absolute mood. Cause goddamn, dude, he is a mood. Ooh, nice. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, can you give some to the bird as well? <laughs> All right. No, the bird isn't making any sound. It's two a.m. You. Yeah. Oh, so you already gave it to him. So here's the deal, guys. We just got we got ghosted, bro. It's uh it's 23 past eight. We were supposed to do an interview at 8 p.m. Uh, I had scheduled this a week prior, kept updates with this person a week prior, going into it up until like a few days ago, and then I I tried DMing them, nothing. Tried calling them, nothing. Uh, Jalen has officially, I think, ghosted us fully. I don't know where the fuck they are. They fucking, they go off, and they're, they're always online, they're always doing shit, and then the one time, like, they agree to do an interview, they're just not here. Oh, Anyways, boy. Uh, hi. I gotta pull you up there. Uh, her pronouns are not they, it's it's she. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna knee you in the <laughs> face, bro. I'm gonna Mitch, fuck. Mitch is echoing, by the way. <laughs> Am I? No. No. I don't yeah, that's you, you idiot. No, that's you, he's no, not echoing on my... I don't hear an echo. <laughs> I wanted to say I don't, I don't hear an echo. Mitch, this is where you talk and we test. Wait, I was talking and I said no, that's you, you idiot. And then you all said no, I don't hear it. Well, then you keep talking and then we figure it out. <laughs> Got nothing to say, man. That's There's just stop, stop, it's not else an echo. Misgendering people. To be technical, Bro. it's not an echo; it's a reverb. Okay. It's, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's picking up what Matt's it's saying. It's fine. I don't hear that at all. I don't, I don't hear, that. hear it. Yeah. Hearing hearing the stuff before I got in is. An absolute experience, at least for me, because I found it really fucking funny. I found it actually really entertaining. Just for the sake of like, wow. It uh yeah. It was just funny to me. I I can't say that enough because it was just really, really funny. Because yeah, I think it was funny. So yeah. So yeah. Bada bing. Bada boom. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. All right, so I now I got the phones on. 
Now I so this really is a scuffed podcast. Wait. <laughs> no, you don't have to start over again. We're in the middle of this. Let's go. Because I forgot what I was saying. Um, well, that's not my problem. Oh, well, you, you were saying that Jalen ghosted us, and, and that's fair enough, because Jalen did ghost us. She said she was going to come on the show, and uh, and then we tried to get a hold of her, and she said mm, nothing. Yeah, so Oof. this is what we're going to do. I'm going to introduce everybody, and we're all going to say one really bad thing about Jalen. Hi, I'm... <laughs> So I was listening to this on the car ride home because, of course, I was. I'm a goddamn gremlin. And, my God, it was actually funny to me because I'm over here listening to this. I'm giggling in my car, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I can't be giggling this much. I might crash because I found it funny. It's just, oh, shit, they originally wanted Jalen. But it's just so funny. It's just really funny, at least to me. Maybe not to other people. Maybe because I'm weird. I am I think I'm just weird. But my god, that was funny. Again, I can't just break out laughing again. But yeah, no, this was actually a lot of fun to record. I'm Matt Pitt, and Jalen is a ma- Now recording. No, I'm just kidding. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Jalen... Jalen's a Jalen's a weirdo who uh, is obsessed uh, on social media and can't get over herself and always digs a hole. Uh, with me today, I have Dmax. Uh, hi, I'm Dmax, and Jalen smells like uh, Ariana Grande, probably. I have Beavers here. Hi, Jalen made me hate trans people. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Is that transphobia uh, technically? Uh, to a degree, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, you know I, I that, think you that's know the that, definition. No, you know that whole thing, like when, like when you interact. Hey, with, like, I'm not argument. that weird. I'm not that weird in a negative way, and then you develop like negative connotations. Yeah, you just, racism. You just associate every trans person with Jalen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that uh, a controversial statement? It it is controversial. <laughs> it just simply is. It's very controversial. I don't know how you're oh asking that question, to be honest. Like, I don't know how even to answer it. But <laughs> uh, I, I have, we just have different mindsets. Um, this was recorded probably a little while ago. It, it wasn't like a recent thing. It was just a little bit ago. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, it was not a very, uh, well, it was not a new thing. But it was a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying listening to the parts that I didn't fucking see because, of course, I wasn't there for them. And, ah, oh, I love it. It's just very chaotic. Oh, I, have, Hel- I have Mickey Mitch. Hello, Lisa. We are reacting to my episode of Now Recording. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, she... Has a smaller penis than me, bro. <laughs> and with us today is Toxic Pip Love. Hi, uh, not a good look for the tr- community. <laughs> <laughs> What's a tr- I finally have good. Oh my god! Thank God, all of this shit is censored. There's so much fucking things that are just spewed that terrify me every time. God damn, it's fucking terrifying. Company on you again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> also, uh, also, by the way, right, mine was a joke. <laughs> Toxics was a joke, right? Mitch's was genuinely offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hell, it's a fact. If somebody has body dysmorphia, oh you don't talk about the penis. <laughs> Mine's right. just a word. <laughs> Toxic is just a word. And yours, yours is like, has a feeling, yeah. though. Yours has you feeling it. and emotion behind you. Like, ah, oh, I hate not just her, but all Listen, of them. Listen, guys, it matters a lot to Mitch that he has a bigger penis than a girl, okay? <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> so welcome back, Base. buddy. How's it going? Uh, that's all right. My um, my dick hurts. Um, I think that's because Mitch was talking too much about his, and mine's like, kind of achy. You know... Maybe it's like a sympathy, uh, oh boy. I think it's more of just a sympathy 
dick pain. Like the pain in your dick when you're like overhearing someone else talk about your dick. I I can completely completely relate. You know, when my friends they talk about their dicks, my penis is like, "I'm sorry, buddy." You right now? I don't know what to do, but I'm here. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Have you stuck it anywhere uh, suspicious? Um, well, I, I got this grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell, but I. Uh, anyway. Wait, what? Anyway, anyway, um, what's up? What are we doing here? Uh, well, you know, we're we're here. Uh, we're queer I'm and queer, get used to it. Queer. No. Uh, no. Well, I like I'm I'm kind of flustered <laughs> because Jalen didn't show up, and now I gotta like figure out what we're gonna do with this episode. But first, I, th- I blocked her. Thank you, thank you, Toxic. I greatly yep. appreciate that. But first, I wanted to ask you, Toxic, like, uh, how, like, where you been, buddy? Like, <laughs> like, it's been a few months. You okay? How's it going? Uh, you know, I had some IRL stuff. I've been burning a couple bridges. Um, started yeah. a new podcast. It's definitely not ripping off this podcast. <laughs> you know, the usual. True. Uh, you doing that podcast. Is there any thoughts of that this was going to get taken the wrong way? Yeah. I mean, he said it. He literally said it on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you think it got taken the wrong way? Um, no. Overall, no. I think it. I think it was pretty fine. Um, I didn't know you guys did a stream until like a week later. Oh man, Toxic's like still recording podcast thing was unironically pretty good. Later. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Well, I yeah, were, fell off the internet. Yeah, were you on vacation or something? Did you go yeah, someplace? Yeah, I, I was gone for a little bit, and then while I was gone, I saw it and I was like, "Oh shit, lol." Yeah. <laughs> but well, just the, the stream went very well up until Tommy called it, and then you know we were kind of you know trying to just simply. And then it goes you know, fantastic. <laughs> oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> we were simply what? just trying to you know orchestrate our way around all the stuff that's been going on and you know be respectful and tommy was just like nah fuck that here we go boom and it's just like oh okay well hey, you know what fuck tommy's seat no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but i mean like i told tommy you're back you're back doing time stamps and stuff and he's like oh good so yeah, it's back a lot to of normal. To do, but I'll, I'll get there yeah exactly toxic being back around is pretty pog like unironically it's pretty pog uh, Beavers. God damn I think it. he's getting coffee. Jesus Christ, you're still useless. No, I'm here. I'm here. Why I've been there? gone for 20 episodes and nothing's changed. I was, <laughs> I was sending Vmax a photo of a doggy. Oh, Jesus like Christ. Oh, what? what? Why, does oh, dog. C- why does CJ hate you, Beavers? <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't know about this. I didn't know CJ hated Beavers. But Jesus Christ. Like, I'm still neutral to CJ, because, yeah, it's just CJ. He's still around somehow. But I don't, I still don't understand why or how CJ can hate beavers, but maybe that's just me, because I like chaotic people. But, eh. Sorry, I just saw what he sent me. <laughs> um... I don't know why CJ hates me, but he's hated me for a long time. <laughs> I don't think this is going to help. Honestly. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go take my Adderall. Jeez. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> change. <laughs> All right. He sent, he, he sent me a picture of a fucking... He... Yeah, he sent me a pic... Beaver sent me a picture of a dog dissolving in hydrochloric acid. Fucking damn it, beavers. Just God fucking damn it. Fucking damn it, beavers. Like, he'll he'll just do wacky fucking shit like that. Like, God damn. God fucking damn it, beavers. Why are you the way that you are? Matt, what? remember how I said I missed, like, early episodes I don't, of I don't know, chat. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I just have yeah. fear. <laughs> Any regrets? At this point. Um... I'm not concerned. A, not a I'm live dog. For the Max, he didn't send you a live dog, did he? Uh, I, I don't know if I want to forward it, to be honest. Turn the sound on. Uh, is it making sound? Is it no, it's, it's a, a little fucking little picture. picture. It, it's just a picture. No, no. It's a video of, it's a it's a dog in like what looks to be a bathtub, and it's got like a bunch of clear liquid around it, 
it looks horrified at looking at the camera longingly. And then the, the, the title of the YouTube video is Dissolving My Dog in Hydrochloric Acid. And oh, it, so has, like a, uh, a, it has a, 29 million uh, uh, updutes. So it's, uh, click, it's clickbait. I mean, I don't know. I just... I I, you don't know. I mean, just, I'm gonna oh, my God. Yeah, Beavis is the scientist here. I, I just take his word for it. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah, look, you can even see around the doggy. There's, like, brown shit. Yeah, that's its fur, you dumb... <laughs> All right, CJ Brown. CJ Brown. Okay. Who's on Kiwi Farms? Us. Uh, nope. I don't know. I can look. Like <laughs> it. It's not really <laughs> something you should know. No, they no. <laughs> Oh my. CJ Brown. All right, all right, all right. I'm. I'm. Uh, okay. 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 I love how the one episode I'm ever on is the most scuffed fucking thing imaginable, and it's like, you know what? Let's make it more scuffed. Let's just have it be the most scuffed fucking thing in the goddamn fucking world. Like, holy shit. It's so scuffed, but it's actually really funny. It's funny because of how scuffed it is. That's at least my take on it, because it's funny. It's enjoyable. Okay, okay. Um, what, what What's up, guys? Like... I, I, <laughs> like, give me a fucking hand here, bro. CJ Brown. Yeah, but Beavers keeps fucking doing some keeps weird interrupting shit, with bro. these weird gore shit. <laughs> wait, so wait, I don't was understand. The dog why was amputee CJ, Beavers? Why was CJ Brown even brought up? I don't, I don't understand. Because wait, so does CJ Brown and it. Beavers have like a like a, a beef? Is that what's yeah, happening? Yeah, he's been repeatedly sh uh, shitting on him in like Riveters chat and stuff. Beavers like fecal matter. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean that's that's normal. I feel like a lot of people shit on beavers. DJ. <laughs> In Why? Chat. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, scrapping the podcast. We're done. I'm. I'm no. Done. no, no. <laughs> oh my god! This whole podcast was a mess, and I love it. I'm done. No, it's good. It's good, Matt. It's good. No, Calm down. No. Calm down. It's like I, like you guys are like. You guys are like all you, like you're all over the place, Beavers. I'll like focus, I don't know. I'll focus. I'll I don't know what's going on right now. You sent Max a weird fucking picture. Like what the fuck is going on? I mean, I'm all focus. I swear. Like come on. All right, I'll focus. I'll I'll, I'll do my you. thing. I'll keep quiet and snipe. Okay, I'll do my job, Matt. Oh you're Jesus. To be talking about yeah, you. I literally asked you a question and you were like, "Oh, well, Kiwi Farms." Oh wait, no, that was me. Okay. No, Toxic asked about Kiwi <laughs> Farms, and then I went to go look for the link to Kiwi Farms, which I can't find. Beavis, why do you have to kamikaze the podcast the one time that I'm fucking participating? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Matt, ask the question one last time. Hey, Kian. I'll answer. So, what is the issue, Beavers, with CJ Brown? Why does he hate you so much? CJ Brown hates my laugh, right? And he doesn't think that I'm funny. He's objectively wrong, but he's entitled to his opinion. Because I've been noticing, That's basically, yeah, it. I've been noticing he's been taking a lot of shots at you in the chat. And he like he'll come on streams, right, and be really chill with Riveter, and then he'll come out of the streams and like be fucking with you in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I just ignore him. <laughs> based. I think that's him just trying to be relevant. Fucking based. I mean, yeah, yeah, pro yeah, yeah. probably. I like. I I thought you did awesome on now recording. Seem like one entertaining cat. Keep up the content. Thank you, Milltown. I'll be honest with you. Like, there, CJ's a charming dude. He's a charming guy. He's a uh, he's charismatic. <sighs> Don't make me admit that CJ can be charming. He's annoying as shit. Don't get me wrong. He's actually annoying as fucking shit. Like, he makes me want to rip off my own fucking eyebrows. But he can be charming because, like. You have to be able to talk if you're, like, a tour guide or some shit. You have to be able to talk a lot and make yourself endearing to whoever you're guiding throughout wherever you are. So, he is he is charming. He's funny at times. Uh, he's easy to talk to, ironically enough, at times. He's got uh, a good speaking cadence. I've always yeah. said that about him. He's he is like charismatic, I guess, in that way. But the, the problem is when you get into the weeds of stuff, it's you know. Okay, so this is a kind of a funny thing. I had a conversation with C.J. Brown when I did that video or that uh that stream, that impromptu stream where I tried to mend the bridge between Xylee and SNT, right? Yeah. And uh, 
it was really funny because like my fucking mom likes to watch uh the videos sometimes so she watches that video and what she gets away from it is she says parking tigers and luke seem like decent guys but they're trolls and like whatever and she but she says that cj brown guy though he's bad news i don't want you to hang out with that man I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> thanks mom yeah oh god he, he just has a i don't know to me he has a likable aura to him like in the cadence you're right the cadence and you've had a lot of conversations with him on stream and he comes off as a likable guy and then he turns around and like I don't, I don't even know if he's done really horrible things or not. I just think he just rolls with the punches. But I, I know that Salvo now hates him. He's turned on Salvo. and But he, but CJ also defends Salvo at times. It's really confusing. But, uh, what do you mean, Matt? He went on... The, the people did a recent stream, one of his uh, people on the morning streams or something. Uh, CJ goes on there. He's accusatory about Zaili or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and they end up having a, you know, a decent conversation. He, he calms down towards the end, and they, it's like a good civil conversation. He seems like a nice guy, right? He gets off of the stream, and then he starts adding me in the chat, and he's like, I have your information. Yeah, but he's you obviously joking, chat. but it's just like... <laughs> it's like it, it's, I, I don't know, he's funny at times, but at other times he can be annoying. I get he it. does that thing where he does like the, the threatening thing like yeah. a lot, because he did that to... like. Uh, somebody else uh yeah fuck it he did a temperance k he kept on oh, talking about shit. how he's gonna make a like an exposing documentary about her but then he never did yeah but so that's, like, he, that's the bit though right i that's, know i know yeah. but that's what i'm saying is like that's a bit but it's like that's, it's a weird all bit. right we all thought it was a bit with salvo and look where we're at now all right i don't know if we can do true. this for so much long <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true Good bro point. we all and, we all and, thought and by the way true. cj by the way cj i didn't want to bring you up Matt brought you up. Okay. Yeah. True. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure CJ's fine with us bringing him up. Yeah, CJ's fine with us bringing him up. He I do not think about, about you, CJ. Uh, you another person I wanted to bring up was Ruby Violet. Do you guys know, remember her? Pokemon? Yeah. No, not Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Ruby Violet is Maya's <laughs> second in command and uh, actually tweeted uh, tweeted this out. Matt, Max was talking to me acting like he wanted to help Maya while they were recording and twisting everything I said to fit their narrative. Disgusting and manipulative. Oh, God. Fucking Ruby. Ruby is this fucking dishonest, actual fucking crazy woman that spews out the most nonsensical fucking lies. Like, in general, anything that Ruby Violet says should not be trusted. She just spews out whatever made-up bullshit that she can come up with while she's high on, like, Vicodin or some shit. Because there's no way that a grown woman will act the way that she does in, like, a normal state of mind. Like, I will... I will... Ah, God. Yeah, on, like, streams and videos and such, I like to be very hyperbolic and just be like, yeah, no, she's a fucking schizophrenic nightmare, crazy bitch, her da 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 But out of everyone that i've seen from like maya's side or anything of that sort she's just a malicious actor like there's no goodwill or good faith in how she speaks about different topics or how she fucking responds to things and when she's called out for them she's just openly saying oh i'm not a content creator i don't have to be held to the same standard so It's one of those really fucking annoying cases of a viewer trying to act like she knows what she's talking about in certain situations. And again, there are moments where I'm like that, where I act like a goddamn uh, viewer that knows about what's going on in the background when I clearly fucking don't. So it's just one of those things where it's like, oh shit, I don't know what the fuck fuck i'm talking about why the hell am i talking about it so it's it's really a weird thing she didn't yeah she really didn't help like ruby wanted to continuously cause issues and i've said this even on a few videos on a few streams and such ruby hates repsion so much that it's oh it's a-okay for me to get fully in the mud but as soon as I get mud on my shoe, I'm a victim. 
Like, I wish I could, but I've even had normal conversations with Ruby, and she would seem normal, at least to the layman. Someone that's not even, like, super uh, educated on the topic would just be like, oh, Ruby's a normie. But she's so terminally online. Uh, Max, anything to say to that? Hello. Uh, well, I mean, I was in DMs trying to understand. So this is my interaction with all of them was like, I came in, uh, around like all the Salvo stuff happening. Right. So there was a bunch of Twitter spaces. And for some reason, like one of the Salvo Twitter spaces turned into a Twitter space about Maya and that whole thing. But I had mm -hmm. no idea. Like it basically it became a blood sports, I think between, uh, Ruby and slug or something. And at the time, like slug was like highly intoxicated and I, and uh, it was just being kind of a dick. You know how he is in Twitter spaces. He's just he keeps on droning on and on and on and just never stops. And I felt kind of bad about Ruby. Or I felt bad for Ruby because it's like everybody was saying Slug was a doxer and this and that. And I was like, oh shit. So like I, I was just kind of nice to her. And I don't remember who started the DM exchange, but we started like talking in DMs just to be like, I don't know, just innocuous. It was about like something related, I think, to that. And then. Fast forward to when uh, the Maya stuff started happening for us in our recording, and I was reaching out to her just or like I was kind of as the Repsion Maya stuff was happening, I didn't really know anything about it because I didn't hear anything about it because I was gone during like when that was a thing like several years ago. So mm -hmm. I was trying to get like her side of the story on all of that. Um, but the problem was that every time I would engage with her in DMs, it was like a fire hose of information <laughs> for like things that I have no idea what she like she's talking. Oh my god. Yeah, that's how uh people who want who are not mentally well, who want to fucking spew out the craziest fucking shit, that's how they give their info. That's unironically how people like Maya, Ruby, Steve, all of them. How they'll just info dump on you and expect you to know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, it's it's insane. It's actually fucking crazy if you do that. <laughs> like, don't fucking do that. You will look like you're fucking nuts. So, yeah. <laughs> talking about people that I don't have any idea or any clue who they are, where they come from or whatever. And I kept on trying to just be like, can I get like a tldr like can, can you can you at least ease me into it like can you let me like dip my pinky toe into the water before you just like push me into the tsunami okay that's fair maybe i'm just looking at it as like someone who's had to research different topics and it gets annoying whenever i have to see like these crazy fucking things where everything pops up everything just uh goes out the window as soon as someone just starts info dumping because I understand info dumping can be great, but it's just so fucking wacky. Like, every time it happens, it's always the wackiest fucking shit. You know? And and I, I kept on trying to have that, and like, but she kept on doing like a full, like, you know, just dumps of information like that. And I just got kind of frustrated because also we tried to get her on the show... Um, and it was never about, like, narratives or anything, because I don't care about Repsion <laughs> at all, right? Um, and so I don't know where that came from. What, what prompted that? Did she, did she just, like, do that out of the uh, way? She was replying to our good buddy, uh, Hujin, I believe. Or Hujin, oh. Hujin. yeah, yeah. So, like, there, okay. you know, uh, I guess Hujin had uh, seen or heard about the stream last night, so he was uh, busy going off and, like, defending Maya and all this stuff, and then Ruby Violet popped in to give her opinion. This is my issue with Ruby Violet. She, um, I think she encourages uh, Maya's mental instability by, this is what she'll do, right? So Maya has not seen our podcast on her. She has, Maya has not sat down and watched it. I guarantee you, if I was a betting man, I would put a thousand dollars on the fact that Maya has not watched our podcast on her at all. You have a thousand dollars? I had a thousand dollars. <laughs> As someone who's basically just a Maya expert at this point, Matt hits it right on the head. It is the easiest thing to tell. There's no fucking rhyme or reason, and Ruby is one of the worst fucking influences on Maya. And I'm speaking as someone who hates Maya, who thinks the worst of her, 
I unironically believe that Ruby is the sole reason why Maya keeps fucking up in the way that she does. Because it, to her, it's not real people being involved. To her, it's like characters in her little fan fiction. I don't know. <laughs> but, what, um, but what is happening, right, is Ruby's taking all the worst parts of that podcast and she's going to Maya and being like, they're saying this about you. They're saying that about you. They brought up this. They brought up that. What are you going to do? What's going on? You know, and Maya's like becoming increasingly and more and more unstable. This is all when she's like flipping the fuck out and going on streams and like having a mental breakdown over Repsion and Jane. All Ruby's doing, like she pretends that she's Maya's best friend. She has like this camouflage where she's Maya's best friend. But in reality, what she's doing is she's just making it worse. And the thing is, I'll give that same side to Jane. Jane also had those people that were going to Jane and making it worse and stirring the pot because they loved the drama. Ruby, you love this shit, bro. You love this yeah. shit. You're all about this shit. And I, you wa- I, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. I, oh, I was going to say that uh, I asked Ruby because like, part of the reason, I, th- I think the reason why we were getting trying to get Maya on um, or just anybody to defend Maya's side was because Maya had posted... Um, to be fair, I think she posted a what was once a public photo of uh, um, Jane's kids, and then uh, like I, I guess like shortly before that, she had posted um, like her kids' names, uh, which I don't know where she got or whatever. So I basically like in the DMs, like in a conversation with uh, with sorry, I'm I'm losing the names here. <laughs> her name is Ruby. Ruby. Yes. I was in the DMs with Ruby and. I like because she was, you know, the fire hose of information. And I was like, okay, that's all fine. Like, maybe you're right on some of that stuff. I don't know. You know, some of it sounded bad. And I was like, okay, fair enough. There's been bad shit on both sides, which everybody agrees, right? Um, but like, don't you agree, Ruby, that like Maya posting and in- involving Jane's kids is kind of like sick and twisted? And she agreed with me in DMs. So I wonder if Maya knows that, that like Jay, uh, that uh, Jay, Jesus, uh, fucking what are their names ruby. ruby that ruby does not appreciate at least that thing of it you know it's just like it's just weird i don't know it's like how do you defend somebody who does that kind of thing like for me if any of my friends went after somebody's kids i would be like uh we're either gonna have like a very deep conversation and you're gonna have to apologize on some level or i'm out like i'm sorry i can't i can't associate with that you know so yeah that was kind of a weird interaction i don't and nothing you- ever came of that and here's a, a, a funny tweet from Maya who replied under Hujin's tweet saying, he also lied about me, referring to me, Matt. He's also lied about me. Matt got paid off to the now record, uh, got paid off to do the now recording about me while I just happened to be talking to Victor. She thinks we live streamed, yeah, she thinks we live streamed our episode while the Victor interview was going on. We released it, like we didn't premiere it, we uploaded it. Like, at the set time, that our scheduled time, that was scheduled two, three days before. And it just so happened to be around the same time that Victor was live with Maya. We didn't live stream. We didn't fucking uh, do a premiere. It was just uploaded. And now she has, the, Maya has this in her head that we were live streaming our our our, our podcast on, on Maya when that wasn't the case at all. And Ruby has, Ruby could correct the record here, but she doesn't. You know, so that's, that's what just kind of annoyed. They... They encourage this shit. Yeah, it's bad yeah. faith. They they encourage this shit. There's bad faith on both sides. I will yes. always say that. When it comes to Jane and Repsion and Maya, there's always been bad faith on both sides. All right? This is a fucking nightmare-fueled uh, uh, fight, uh, argument, and uh, that goes way past the internet into personal lives. Uh, but at the same time, you have people like Ruby who encourage this shit, and it just it gets on my fucking nerves, bro. No, you said that you said that Ruby was probably running and saying like the worst things that was said on here, right? Um, yeah. Evers, um, is the main one I'm gonna point this question to. Did you ever call Maya attractive in any way? <laughs> uh, Maya, I do not believe so. Don't think okay. Evers was on hypothetically. That do you think that dumb lying bitch would have said that to Maya, or do you think she left ah! it out? Wait, what? <laughs> that Wait, you would what? call because I'm, I'm trying to see like do you think like if you would have called her attractive do you think that she would have told Maya probably not no no I mean are you trying to get it that that's a bad thing because I don't think that's bad enough for Ruby to be like and then they said you were attractive you know it's like 
You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I was... Do you think it's worth, like, do you think she would? Like, you know, I mean, at least they said this. Like, you know, if they said oh, these bad things, oh, you're, at least you're... you're attractive, you know? Oh, uh, right. maybe. I mean, if it'd come up in conversation. It's, it's also her, too, because I don't know, like, how Ruby really interacts with Maya. I don't know if it's in... Because <clears throat> I just feel like interacting with Maya is probably different in text than it is in, like, voice call, even. So I've I've seen how uh, Ruby interacts with Violet through text and uh, not Ruby interacts with Maya through text. And uh, <clears throat> it's a it's interesting. And I've kind of heard how Ruby will interact with Maya, at least on the whole uh, fucking voice calls. Now, uh, it's not surprising at the very least, because, of course, Maya is going to be very different in uh, VC than through text, because that's just how she is. I'm not saying that as a negative or a positive. It just is. And uh, it's still always been this thing that Ruby is not someone that you can really trust. And that's kind of something I've tried to reiterate to people because some people are just like oh ruby can be trusted i'm like wait what no stinky no um i am indeed a hamster hamster even you know mm -hmm. um because just like based on like the the few times that maya dm me too it's like manic it's it's just it's it's manic text it just never stops it keeps going even if you don't respond or say anything it just keeps going <laughs> Bro. I, I still think it's really funny that Maya posted so many different DMs at me. I never responded, uh, and then she ended up blocking me. <laughs> yeah, she blocked me too, right? But I didn't just. <laughs> Who brought him in here? <laughs> That's me! That's me! Hey, Kate, hello. Just I just pop in. Beep, beep, beep. I did. Who? Keep going. Not? Keep going. Keep okay. going. I muted him. <laughs> okay, so um, I uh, so I DM'd Maya because we wanted to get her on the podcast when we were doing all of that, right? So I like stopped so talking to her because I just realized she's a colossal bitch that was just wanting to waste my time, right? So I say, and I don't care about this. She blocked me. Fuck her. Anyway, uh, hello Maya. Now recording will be covering the whole ordeal between you and Repsion. I was wondering if you perhaps uh, knew someone that could come on to represent your side of the ordeal. Kind regards, Beatles. Right? Then she replied, Yes, logical Steve DeLeave is a pedophile. If I know someone, question mark, like hinting I'm not somebody that could represent my side, question mark, with a little tongue text face thing. And I say, no, you could. I just thought you would be busy slash wouldn't want to. Come on. And then she says, well, I'm not going to come on. But if you, if you clarification on a couple of things, I could help you. At that point, I just stopped looking at the DMs or messaging her completely. Because she's like, she's like, she's like, I'm like, hey, bro, I know you don't want to come on the podcast. Why don't you get somebody else to come on the podcast? What? You think that I won't come on the podcast because I can't represent myself? No, by all means, come on the podcast. I just didn't think you would. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to come on the podcast. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, well, I was, I was going to bring Slug in just to like, uh, I don't know, tell like, because he probably has some stuff to talk about when it comes to this subject, but he's literally live. He didn't tell me he was live streaming, so yeah, like, he's on the be right back oh, screen. Shit. I think it's muted, yeah. but yeah, it's muted. But live. I'm not. I'm not risking that, bro. I'm not risking. Yeah, he's he's, he's <laughs> live streaming. All right. Yeah, I was live at the time. I was unironically live streaming at the time, <laughs> and oh my god, that was just funny. That was unironically hilarious because I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm live. I thought I told them that at the time because it's like, well, I, I told you. What do you mean? Just re. <laughs> but apparently I did not tell Matt. No uh, risking what? Nobody will know the rest of the context. It will be like a game of puzzle, like a nice little teaser. You know I don't know mean? I'm back. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they don't know Toxic is back. I mean, he came back on the stream. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I also came on the ghosty stream too. You know, it's that's like, true. True. Yeah. All right. Fuck you, slug. <laughs> yeah. <not gonna laughs> yeah. 
that was your only chance and you're live streaming. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. your stream. Yes, like you think about this when you hear this like yeah. a week from now. Yeah, end your stream right now. You can go home. Talk yeah. to end the stream. Like, have you heard that Slug's like whole person, like his whole, uh, I don't know, personality has changed in the sense that he's kind of seen as a decent get the person. fuck out of here. I'm not doing yeah. this shit again. No. He's seen no, as a decent person now. Um, oh, he's no. on his, he's on a redemption arc though. He's oh. being a good boy. I promise. Redemption arc number what? He's I still doing know. slugisms. He's just doing them towards <laughs> and no, but, well, sorry, bleep that name. I don't want to fucking I don't wanna give him <laughs> okay. oxygen. But he's doing oh, it towards boy. him and nobody cares about him. Uh, and he's yeah. making doggo. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to even try and be like, Hey, fuck you guys. No, they, they have very good reason to be wary of me. Cause like, yeah, I've had these attempts at a good boy arc before and it's, it's failed in the past, so now it's just like, you know what? That's fine. The content? Yeah, but it's always See, the, the issue, Mitch, is you weren't there for when Slug did the horrible things. All right. Well, what's the worst thing that Slug has done? Yeah. Allegedly posted links to, you know, you know, oh, little, boy. little kids, some... Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit <laughs> of a cheese uh, uh, Permission to send this to my cozy TV bosses. They want to talk about how yeah, that's fine. You can. And, oh, God. Every time, every time that fucking allegation of, like, CP distribution pops up. Oh, it's such a fucking nightmare topic because it fucking never happened. And every time I try and explain it, I just get so fucking pissed. Like, it's been debunked fully. Like, it's been proven false beyond a shadow of a doubt it's like god fucking damn it every single time so yeah he's oh, god. Yeah. oh god that's the way the story goes right is a couple chose a pizza it didn't have like... any pepperoni on it it was just a plain mozzarella very basic very uh you could this say, is a dog you could say young you could say virgin no, no it was, I think oh, god. Was the acronym that i was saying with capra chose a pizza um what? This, I don't get it. Oh god. It's it's wild and wacky. Got outed. Oh Jesus. I don't understand. The acronym what said the acronym of Capuchosa Pizza. What I don't even know how to spell Capuchosa. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> why it's, wouldn't it's you just say cheese? cheese? Yeah, Doesn't why wouldn't you just say pizza? cheese pizza? Because Capucho oh. What do you know? Oh. CP? Yeah, why oh, guys, you know. It's a little bit of mozzarella bread. See, I'm not stupid. Tea. I'm just <laughs> fucking elevating over the top of you, and you just don't if you fucking have to get say, it. Mitch, you say way too often, I'm not stupid. I'm just saying that, like, no, no, like, not stupid person. Why? What? <laughs> <laughs> Demo oh, CP. spider sense Fair is tingly. Enough. What? Where? Who's giving? I don't, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't. He posted cream pie links to Twitter. <laughs> Oh well, oh, so, God. so that's links, like money does that. So the links were um, dead. They were dead links, but apparently somebody in the room. I don't know. Yeah, how do you know? I said apparently. <laughs> I said apparently, were dead links. Oh boy, I do clear this up on the thing. I'm letting them say what they need to say as much as because I do defend myself on this point because like that stuff's been debunked. I use dead link checkers to verify they were dead, error 404, all of that. I bring that up. Links. And someone in the reply said, hey, this, these links might be something uh, CP related or yada, yada, yada. How did and, they know? And, <laughs> and Slug, said, Slug said, well, if they're going to find it, they're going to find it. But this must be known that this person's posting these li links. Oh. It's really, yeah, it's like a really... Uh, it's, Weird thing, I don't know. Wait, I, mean, do, but, okay. so I, have a, I have a question though. If 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 you have a link right to something illicit like that, um, and then it's like put on the Wayback Machine, like whoever it is that owns the Wayback Machine, do they are they technically harboring CP at that point? Kind of. No, they they're covered by safe harbor. What oh. does that mean? What is that? So uh, so long as there's a a mechanism in place for people to request to take it down. Right, like a legal mechanism in place. So long as you have that in place, the people that own the website, uh, if it's like a public form or a place where you know, like users submit the content kind of mm -hmm. deal, then those, then the the entity that owns it can't be held responsible 
if they well, have things that sounds in like place. plausible deniability to me but no, yeah it is I mean, imagine sense. if it someone uploaded sense. that to youtube would that mean youtube is like yeah. legally responsible well that's where it's safe that's where no, safe not. Not. comes from it's from like yeah. youtube and shit yeah makes i guess it makes sense. sense yeah it makes sense that's cool Sorry, right, toxic, well, I, mean, I gotta look for the slug screenshot now because y'all brought that up. Okay, well, <laughs> we, okay. What, I'm what's the go second worst thing, right? That's like, like that's like the one I thought of. What's like the second worst thing he's done? Uh, the fucking shit with uh, us back in September was pretty gay. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, it was. So there was a. Um, I'm a very. There was, yeah, I'm a very controversial person. There was a guy who was having a lot of issues uh, because he was having a bad. Right. Slug. What's oh, up? Yeah, 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 I know right, this right, story. Yeah. I know this story. Yeah, that Slug. is pretty shitty. Yeah, that yeah. was fucked. And then he recorded the whole call and fucking yeah, like. Yeah. I got a question. Who are these retards that keep on like trying to redeem him? <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. Uh, well, I mean, like, here's the thing: is like, I for me, it's like coming into the commentary space, uh, like way late, right? Um, my mentality has always been that, like, you know, everybody can be redeemed. I think, like, it's, uh, I don't know, it's at least just like a hopeful optimism sort of a thing. But I agree. I hey, think like, it's the way I've been kind of treating Slug, and he knows this because we've almost nearly had conversations kind of about this because he's been on my streams and stuff, and I've just said it. Um, like, he's on probation for me. It's like, I don't know how long, reasonably, like in a court of law, you would be like put in jail for his crimes that he's committed. But for me, it's like, I don't know, if you can go a year without having an incident, you know, then I don't know, I'll maybe entertain having you on a stream or something like that, you know? Yeah, and it's like baby steps. It's, it's, it's well, a, it's if you a, send me one of those stick. fancy cameras that you use, you are completely redeemed in my book. He would. He actually would, because he offered to send me one. I know, that's why I said it, because I want that fucking <laughs> camera. <laughs> there you go. Well, you buy me a big bag of Starburst like you bought, Brick, I will forgive you. Why are you such a fucking, what do you call it, undercutter? <laughs> like, you, you're you undervaluing <laughs> Man. Your Aim higher. Yeah, they let me make the thumbnail. Yee, I'm excited. And now I have the assets, and I'm able to now try out like making uh little uh test merch designs because i think that could be a fun project build up my portfolio all that hello alpha hello hello um slug donate me two thousand dollars so i can buy things <laughs> that's, that's, uh, all right all right, right i got it i got it i got it i got it i got it, I got it. I got it. the links were posted angry slug <laughs> posted a bunch of <laughs> links, links. Yeah, no, shut up. <laughs> oh my god. A bunch of links and this person named Minecraft 5 Hey, Matt, click them. No, no. it's fucking screenshot. It said these <laughs> Doxbin <laughs> links have been have links to X videos and porn sites with alleged CP. I know you have good intentions, but pedos can use these to find CP. Please delete these immediately. This is not okay. Oh. And Angry Sug says at this point, pedos will find CP no matter what. At this point, the word needs to be put out on the person that he's trying to expose. So, uh, oh, I, gathering content on Hugin. Ooh. Ooh, if you want content on Hugin, just look at his videos. Watch the videos that he like does commentary on other people, then watch uh, those people because Hugin is a pathological liar. Like unironically, he can't stop lying. It kind of like at, at snowball basically. To be fair, right, that line alone, everything else is fucked, right? But that line alone is true, right? If they're going to find it, they'll find it a different way. Or if they want it. Yeah, but that that's the equivalent of saying, <laughs> that's the equivalent of saying, you know, my kids are going to find porn in any case, so I'm going to take them to a sex expo. Well, <laughs> come along, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, parents do that for porn, though. Like, they, I, I mean, isn't that a trope, right? Where it's like the dad's like, listen to your son. When I was your age, we had one of these. And then he pulls out a magazine with like a, a, a girl on the cover. Well, and that actually little... happens. No? When I, mean, I was a movie thing. When I was, when I was, when I was your me. age, we still thought that those were, those were chicks with I mean, dicks. Okay. When I was like 10, I went to Hooters. That's about like the only thing I got. Oh my god, what what kind of childhoods are these people having? My parents were just like eh, they never they never did that stuff for me, so I'm just kind of like, well, maybe maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm weird. I've never had the birds and the bees talk because of course it was just like, well, eh. Hooters? Yeah. Okay. Right. That's fair. 
There's like uh there's a there's a place uh near me called Twin Peaks and apparently it's I just like shooters. Yeah, you have a Twin Peaks. Yeah, so yeah. is it the same for you where it's like everybody and every girl in there is flat chested? Yeah, it's like more about the like the, the stomach and the legs. That's, that's like cool. fun. Oh, that's weird. It's but just it's odd. Get my money. What's peaking? I don't know. It's, it's just that it's like uh, the opposite of Hooters, basically. It's more like. What do you mean that explains a few things? I was, I was, ah! like, god damn. Based on like okay. tall, slender woman. I still want a femboy Hooters. I there still think one. that's a good there idea. Is Here is that I is a thing. Uh, I think it's called Tallywhackers. Oh. All right. Slug, <laughs> has, Slug <laughs> has uh is no longer live. So I'm gonna unmute. And... Yes, he is. I'm looking at. A I show want a restaurant now. called Polkies. I just checked. Are you sure? No, I just made that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hello, Slug. Yo, Slug. Hello. We Hello. were just uh, we were just talking about your redemption arc, and um, yeah, we were. So uh, you you've answered all these questions before. Yeah. But uh, you the uh because Max has not really heard it that much, and I don't think Mitch has either. Uh, I put I put it in the group chat the uh. Uh, where you say, at this point, pedos will find CP no matter what. At this point, the word needs to be put out on blank. Um, do you want to just reiterate one more time, like, your... Oh, that was just that? very bad, poor, very bad choice of words. Well, fuck, I and... just agreed with them. <laughs> 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 like, that's really it. Like, Isn't that what redemption is? Hey, yo, uh, toxic's on his fucking slug off. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, whose is... car was that? I think that, uh, I think sorry about that. Leaks. That was a security thing. We're all good. No. In the links. Is is white boy trying to steal your car again? <laughs> <laughs> I am the guy that Tommy did a stream about. Yes, I am. It's very funny. I have a very weird like past and everything, but I I do my own stuff and such. But yeah, it's like getting swatted like. Oh Oops. no, I'm I'm not getting swatted. We're all good. <laughs> That's all why right. he's not streaming, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what, what was uh? There was a so before we we were going to pull you in because we were talking about Ruby Violet and Maya because I read a couple tweets that they were uh, Ruby Violet was saying that Max betrayed her and uh, Maya was saying that I put out a stream on her at the same time she was interviewing with Victor, um, which are, is, is an obvious lie. Uh, what's your take on Ruby? Um, Ruby is someone that doesn't really care about Maya or anything of that sort. She just hates Repsion. So she's yeah. doing whatever she can to get at Repsion. I was that I, makes a lot of sense actually. I've never yeah. I've never thought about it that way, but that actually does make a lot of sense for my interactions with her. Huh. Yeah. Like I I did have convos with her in the past and Outside of any conversation involving Maya or Repsion, she can be normal. And, like, I can't just be, oh, she's a crazy bitch, oh, fuck her, blah, blah, blah. I gotta accept that she can be a normal person outside of the Repsion hate boner that she has. Mm -hmm. So That's you're cool. so you're saying outside of all this, she's she's normal? Hopefully. From what I've interacted with her... So you've had, like, neutral interactions with her? I've had neutral interactions with a lot of these people, ranging from Steve to leave, Maya, even Hugin, and even Ruby Violet. I've had neutral interactions with these people in the past. Huh. Well, there you go. I guess uh, internet drama doesn't <laughs> translate always. I mean, that's a good thing, though, because, like, I mean, it's really easy to just, like, assume that people are just, uh, you know full of themselves and full you know bad yeah. all the time and shit but it's like yeah i mean that 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 does make a lot of sense so then what is what is ruby's problem with uh with repsion that's one thing i never knew she's more than likely a kiwi farmer that's always just been like oh fuck repsion anti repsion this same thing that steve's been okay like it's it's nothing really that new or interesting. Like I'll take my jabs at her and all of them every now and then, but even I've gotten bored of them. Okay. Um, let me add. Uh, you. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm going through a couple things about all the bad shit you've done. Uh, <laughs> That's you, fun. You accused Tipster of being a false flagger. Is that true? 
I did, and on a stream involving the BX Bullet stuff, we actually hashed it out. Uh, I doubt any farmer will ever, ever claim Maya, because Maya is such an unlikable bitch. Like, she's just unlikable. She's not able to be enjoyable to be around, just an unironically abhorrent person. Just abhorrently unenjoyable, angry at the world. Like, no fucking redeeming qualities. Aside from, like, oh, yeah, she's decent looking. Like, she's able to just be used as a fleshlight. Walk and talk and fleshlight. That's just Maya's whole redeeming qualities. She is very mentally ill. Just off off the cuff, she is extremely mentally ill. And I don't think that she's ever going to recover. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you need me, I can send you. You teamed yeah. up with uh, you teamed up with BX Bullet and then turned on her, right? To yeah, because when I was asking questions, she would start shutting down, and yeah. she, I had like private calls with her, recorded that, released that, and she admitted to a lot of really stupid shit. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. I do. I have. I, I do have this question. Um, you really back in December. You really went hard on Jane. You called her a doxer. You said you were helping her with shit, with like very sketchy stuff. And now that had now that relationship has been kind of mended. Like what happened there? So at the time, I viewed. Oh yeah, I'm just being thrown under the bus. Just like, up slug back. I don't even, I don't know how to really react to the fact that Null has heard of me. I don't know how to feel about that because maybe, maybe I'm just weird. It just feels, I don't know. It kind of sends a creeping feeling up my spine <laughs> knowing that Null has heard of me and it's kind of unsettling in a sense, just like. Like, oh, the guy who runs one of the most infamous uh, gossip forums uh, heard about me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm an okay noodle. I'm an okay little guy. But, oh gosh. I, have, I don't hate Kiwi Farms mainly because they have info. I like information. It's always weird. Add uh, till slug good and useful. That was the little meme that I have with me and my own viewers and all that. Mm -hmm. But at that point, uh, that's when it kind of hit its peak. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to just dump it all out and try and move on from it. Okay. And, and you, you, you dumped. Okay. But what, what, how was the bridge mended between you and Jane? Uh, her and I talked on one of my streams a while back. So wait, did she call in like uh, yeah. at odds with you? Like, like was she um, trying? To, no, like, she was. She was the. Uh, she was the amicable. Am a little, little, little. Amicable. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, she was the amicable party in that, and uh, wound up just being like, "Yeah, no, put the past in the past." Threats work. Across the spectrum isn't relevant. Crow is too irritating to share and crow. Slug, while plausible, there's nothing to out. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, like, I, I don't try and hide anything. That's kind of, like, my thing. I want to be as transparent as possible. Because uh, that, that's kind of just my thing and my philosophy. I try to be as transparent as possible, but you never know, because... Again, there's always going to be those moments of like, oh, Slug's hiding something. What has he hidden? Ah, his cock and balls. Fair enough. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, Jane seems like a, like a fairly reasonable person when you get around yeah. the feels or if you're not talking about her kids, for God's sake, you know? Oh, God, that's not even a topic I want to touch, but I know yeah. Matt's going to be like, so, Steve to leave and Jane's kids. 
So, Steve Dewey. <laughs> um, oh boy, you've been. I I gotta be honest with you. Like, okay, like you get you think Steve Lee's annoying. You guys have been fighting for two years. You've been really like I get that he's been horrible to like you guys, but you've been really bad to him. Like I got I got this one screenshot right here. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey slug, next time you DM my mom a video, make sure to keep it public. She like you reached out oh, to yeah. his mom, I, and that I was in that February. And... That was like a, like two months ago. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I I regret that mainly because it's didn't do anything in uh -huh. terms of like it didn't change anything. It just made me look as bad as him. So why did you do it? At the time, I was thinking, oh, this guy's going way off the deep end, and he's going nuts. I had a flamenco moment, and that's true. I did have a flamenco moment. Like, it was, it was wild. Hey, Shanry. Like, goddamn. It was, I did have a flamenco moment at that time. Just like, oh, I'm so angry. I need to get back at him, grr. Like, dude, it was not a bright move on my part. Just the dumbest thing for me to do. That shit fucking was the dumb. Um, sure, I'm up for it. Dumbest idea I ever had. Can I ask you a personal question, Slug? Sure. Are you on medication? uh adhd meds yeah were you off medication at that time um no <laughs> so, so I'm not... it, it... sen sen i have a now recording episode that means you're able to react to it for content come on sen content day it's content day sen there's so much content I, I see the face. I is see it, the is little it like blob an anger face. problem? Like what? Like um, at the again over the past few months, it's like at the time I'm trying my best to try and give a reason, mm -hmm. but at the time it was just a bad decision, like something I won't do again. I've even had Sen come on. He's reamed me out publicly on my own streams about it. I don't try and hide the fact that I fucked up with that, so I'm like, I'd rather be very direct with it. Like, yeah, I fucked up and I've done fucked shit as well. Yeah. I'll back you up on that too, because I've seen a few of your streams where that sort of thing happens, and it seems like, at least for the streams that I've caught, um, you there is like a reckoning that I feel like you're kind of speaking to of like, you know, I did like, you, it's just offhand, it, like randomly throughout, you know, covering other things. It seems like sometimes you pull up different things from your past that you've had problem, you know, problematic encounters, and you've gone, "That was wrong. I shouldn't have done that, and that was bad." And also to your point as well, you do have a set of callers in your chat community, whatever you want to call it, that do occasionally come on and you know give you a good reaming. Um, yeah. So I mean, that is true. I have seen that. Yeah, like for example, the uh, origami. <laughs> apology that i made out to him that i wanted send to clip it and send to him i think you were there for that one right uh me sorry sorry no oh, yeah I, I, oh. I think i was i don't but the thing is i don't really know that guy it's it's hard because yeah. like if i don't know the people involved it's like i don't oh, store yeah. it in my brain but i think I okay son that's fine Do -do 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 -do. Oh, let me uh Open up Discord. Ooh, woo. Uh, ba 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 bum. Discord. I'm howling at the moon. Discord. I'm howling at the moon. I'm a little guy and I'm howling at the moon. Look at me, I'm still howling at the moon. Oh, boy. I think I was oh, there for that, yeah. Yeah, because I could look back in, like, the archives of the stream chats on my server at some mm -hmm. point and find it, but... Yeah, yeah I, I, okay. I make sure, like, when I fuck up, I want to at least publicly acknowledge it. Like... I've had a pretty good fuck up back in uh fucking December. 
with the mm-hmm. whole salvo shit. Oh god. You know okay. what? I got. Let's. Well, hold on. I got a checklist here. I literally have a checklist. <laughs> why don't I just? Why don't I just go beat by beat, and you just give your response to this stuff, okay? And we'll, okay. we'll get to the Salvo stuff as well because it's, it's right here. Um. So, uh, doxing Steve the Leaf. I did that because I saw him doxing Jane's kids. It wasn't the live stream that he did. It was him reposting that clip onto his Five to Leave Twitter account. Mm-hmm. The same Twitter account that has my underage sister as his profile picture. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But yeah, think- yeah. Isn't it wild how like everyone forgets the fact that Steve has a picture of my underage sister as his profile photo? Like, do people? A lot of people don't really remember that because, like, at the time, I never made a big deal about it. But it's like. The dude has a, a picture of my underage sister. He has a picture of my sister when she is underage as his profile photo on his 5 to leave account. That's something that a lot of people don't really uh, talk about that much. And I'm like, God damn it. Why don't you talk about it? Free. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fucking annoying, but. Yeah. And it's the same photo that he doxed her again with. Because, oh yeah, fuck slug, am I right? Wow. So it's it's something of that sort. Like, it drives me up a fucking wall. Slightly bigger would have his own thread, but he's only 2,000 subs, but his actions are thread-worthy. True. My thing, right, is all right. I don't know if you full on doxed him before this, but wasn't there a situation with you and Steve where you were like posting I, pictures of his family on, or like you found his Instagram or something like that? So, back in 2020, uh, me and him were going back and forth. I made a video pointing out, Steve, you need to shut this thing off, set your thing to private. I made it unlisted at first, mm-hmm. then. I sent it to Steve. Steve took it as a threat, like, oh, yeah, slugs threatening to dox my family. At the time, I thought, and this is my thinking, you're able to take it however you want. I'm not going to try and convince you otherwise. But my, my own perspective on it was I want to make sure this guy doesn't get doxed, like, fully, because he had his entire family tagging him on Instagram he would pull up. He linked everything and anything he could to his personal life. And Senathan. Good morning, Slug. Is it, Wait, are you literally just waking up? Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so, like, I don't know. I got woken up to, like, screenshots of, like, Oh, what the fuck was this shit? Um, let me see. Um, what's your honest opinion on Crow? Uh, I'll tell Alpha and to put the thread on Cozy on him and send on hold. They're currently in a group chat planning a gay off on current commentary. And Mike, yes, he is. What the fuck is going on, Sluggy Wuggy? I have no idea. I've just, uh, I don't try and dig into it. You... I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what? But somebody told me. Oh, Slug seems to know what's going on. So I'm like, okay, I guess Wait. I'll ask Sluggy Wuggy. Sluggy Wuggy. Where is that? What's going on? Who are these people? Anything fun? Um, I'm currently just reacting to the now Besides recording episode, like episode on me. Yeah, huh? yeah. You're now rec- now recording podcast. Oh, See now the new podcast. toxic trio was given that, their uh, now recording stuff. I know, right? I, I'm like, I'm surprised that um, Steve hasn't spurred out about it yet. Dude, um, I saw the clip of Chris the Narc yelling at Steve to fucking fight with you on his stream. Yeah, I told I told Chris that fucking Steve was a pansy, but he didn't believe me. Now he does. Now yeah. recording, yeah. Um, Steve the Live, if he was slightly bigger, would have his own thread, but he's only 2,000 subs. Oh, shit, I almost forgot he's only 2,000 subs. His yeah. actions are very thread-worthy. Yeah, like, I mean, if you want to talk about... Listen, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, right? 
if you think tipster's a lol cow, which I know that commentary community thread think that tipster's a lol cow, Steve the Live is just a fucking skinny version of tipster. Maybe even worse because he's so fucking unlikable. Doesn't <laughs> like, tipster have like, a wife? Like even even one of fucking Steve the Leaves like closest friends said, yeah, I I know he does the same thing tipster does, but he's my friend, so it's like. So there you go, cat's out of the bag. Yeah, everybody fucking knows Steve is just like a skinny version of Tipster, but less likable, at least to the majority of people. Like, Steve will be likable maybe to like three close people maybe, and that's about it. And everybody else, well, I don't, I don't fucking know what his reason is. If you don't follow him, he'll just be cranky with you. That's Steve. That's Steve to leave. <laughs> <laughs> he just has daddy issues. Yeah, he'll talk to you about his fucking heroin addiction. I don't oh, know. Boy. I don't know what the. I don't know if that was a play, like a big, bla a big brain play by Steve. Because uh, so there was this one point. I could probably still go through that group chat. I don't think it's been deleted. But I there was one it. point where we were going over. You know how like the whole Ari thing was happening. Yeah. So basically, what happened is that we were doing this thing where I would talk to her. And Steve would be on the other line listening with, like, th two other people, right? Yeah. So Steve, for, for fucking some reason, he makes a Google document. And he says, okay, so here are <sighs> no the questions way. you need to ask her and what you need to do. By the way, I put in some... This is his own words, too. And uh, it's weird. And he's like, I put in some manipulation techniques in there, too. So you should try those out. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I thought he was memeing, but then, like... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I think he was kind of serious about it at this point. It's just why be so blatant about it? I guess you didn't think much of it, but it's so funny. Maybe he uh, thought Steve, you would. He wouldn't fuck up again. Steve's a funny boy. Steve's a funny little guy. He's, he's very a wild and wacky. Man. Yeah, he's a thirty-year-old man with the mind of a fifteen-year-old. Oh God, this guy. is why I don't want kids. Because they'll end up like Steve. No, it's more just I, I'm a giant man child, so I don't think I'd maybe be that, able to. They'll dude, that. maybe that'll be your karma for your life, right? You're gonna end up having a kid that's like Steve. <laughs> Imagine, maybe like slug all those times you doxed people. See, now you gotta deal with a Steve of your own for the rest of your life. I don't know, man. Disowning the kid works. Oh well, I, mean, I guess that's a thing. Yeah. I don't think little uh, Stevie really thinks of that. Stevie Wonder. His dad must have done that. I wouldn't blame him. Yeah. I'm still uh, waiting sadly, for him to Mr. dox Shen, his as dad. As I said above, Dion is the only Kiwi farmer here who can spell. No offense, Megan. Dyslexic. Uh, dyslexic. I thought you said dyslexic for a second. Dyslexic. What are these names? By the way, your rap sheet isn't worthy either yet. Slug sort of is. Slug, what did you do? I have no idea. <laughs> I've done so, so like, many you evil have done things. Some funny shit in the past, so I'll say yeah. that. I don't think it's like I still think that Steve has done um, bigger shit than Slug, and like that's just the shit you see in public. Like there are like thousands of receipts you can still get from Steve, even to this day. Like for example, like the whole thing where he um, so somebody tried to downplay this whole thing is oh well you know you shouldn't white knight for cat that wasn't like the point of bringing up the cat thing where he chose Maya over cat is that Steve made a promise he said if Maya tries to go after cat I'm kicking Maya out Steve didn't live up to that promise because Steve well he goes back on everything he says it's word means literally nothing so like now that I have this information which Steve wasn't counting on me having at the time because here's what here's what happened there was a T3 episode where the whole point of it was for me to not challenge Steve, me not debate Steve, and not me not make Steve angry. That's why it turned into like a two-on-one with Origami and Steve versus me, basically. But in reality, it was more like Aura making entire points for Steve while Steve just wrote the coattails as per usual. But the, the entire point of that T3 was to not upset Steve. He made it difficult at some points. That's where I started talking, but then Aura shifted it back and he knew shit was gonna go to shit so he went ahead and he made it more neutral even then but 
So the whole entire point of this, and this is like something you'll see Steve do very often, he'll count on you not having the entire fucking story. Because I didn't find out about that whole cat shit up until like recently because of something Steve did, funny enough. Oh and boy. now I know, oh, so that's, that was, like, besides the, the whole thing with Steve being a shitty person, which is <laughs> so fucking funny how Steve was getting pressed about um, me and Gigi making a 9-11 joke about his fucking girlfriend because she's a fucking Arab and shit. <laughs> uh, it, it's fucking hilarious because he took that so to heart, but, like, this whole thing is, like, yeah, you're a shitty friend. That's the point of bringing up the cat thing. You're a shitty friend. You don't, like, you don't stick to your word, which... I think everybody in like the surf, like the commentary sphere, already know that. Like, it's not a secret because a lot of people would pick up on that, like from the get go, right? Yeah. Um, Augie picked up on it from day fucking one. It's not, it's not a secret, but it's just like it's right there, and it's so blatant, and it's like Slug is nowhere as bad as as fucking Steve. Like, I again, I I'm not shitting you. You remember that tweet he made uh, the other day, Slug, where he was like, okay, I'll, get, I'll get it verbatim, but he was basically salty that I got the screenshot that said that uh, Spider was in college. He got mad. Oh, he got big that. mad. Yeah, because, okay, and his exact words, right? Look, this this guy is so fucking pitiful and pussy. Like, he says, uh, see how Mr. Sensitive twists things for sluggy wuggy? How am I twisting the fact that Spider is in fucking college, you fucking retard? You absolute fucking failure. That's not twisting things. <laughs> like, this guy has no... No brain. He's gone. He's, he's fucking retarded. Gone. He's, he's fucking gone. He's delusional. This is something, like... You want to talk about threads and people you can have fun with, all right? Let me tell you something, all right? And I know these people are irrelevant, but they are guaranteed 100% the funniest people that you can fuck with. I would know because I do it all the time. Steve the Live, Eugen, and Maya Moore. Those, oh, yeah. Here's why. Here's why. They get so worked up. They get, like, and they don't even have a reason to get worked up. Fuck, I have more of a reason to get worked up. I've been fucking gone, though. Because it's like, this shit is so fucking gay and boring now. But they get super worked up about it, even though they can't even get a thousand subscribers. Maya makes schizo posts, like, almost on a regular. Hugin will make schizo posts for, like, I don't know. I, I like to compare Hugin to the British version of John Michael Kelly. Like, if John <laughs> Michael Kelly was British, that would be Hugin, including the sister fucking. So... Literally, oh, these two people in itself are fucking low coward. And Steve the Live, man, that guy. Oh my god, that guy is just like, I, I don't know. You have like a trifecta here. I think the the most boring schizo out of all of them would be Ruby. Like, Ruby seems to be like the most boring schizo. If anything, she just I I, I heard she fucking jerks off like ear juice or some shit i don't know it, it's weird I've, I've heard she goes in circles here and there although that was just gossip i don't know how legit that could be i don't know i don't i don't care if she like hangs out with pedophiles or some shit but the only important people here <laughs> that are funny to make fun of that you will legit get schizo posts from is like steve right uh Eugen and maya and they all share this in common but i'll say this about <laughs> about the steve thing too where he got super salty it's like, I'm not doing anything that I didn't do for him. Like, everything that I'm doing for you, Slug, is shit that I did for him. It's just, it's easier for some reason. I don't know what the reason could be, but it's so much easier for, like, to defend you for some reason. It's, it's like, it's almost as, as easy as just getting context of something. But for Steve, you need to twist things funny enough you gotta twist things you gotta pretend not to know what the other person's talking about you have to omit details why is it that for steve you have to be super shady and fucking secretive and and you have to twist things in order to defend steve the live but for slug you don't really have to do that it's weird it's like the only thing that's changed is the person that i i guess defend but still slug you make it so much more easy <laughs> Like, I don't it's know why. I don't, it's like I don't work, try and fucking my fuck workload, things up. My workload has gone down, like, in <laughs> terms of quote-unquote defense, has gone down dramatically. Like, this is, like, it's... All, I, sometimes I don't even have to fucking do shit. 
Yeah. It's fucking amazing. And for Steve, it's like, like, oh, God, <laughs> this guy is such a dumb little faggot. Like, I honestly hope, like, God, you know, it's sad that I didn't bully him into suicide when it was like probable for him to kill himself. Because there was, you remember when the with the whole shrooms and Tommy C and shit where he was oh, crying yeah. and all those stupid. I I should have turned on him. Like I'm gonna be real. I should have turned on him. He shouldn't have turned on me. I should have turned on him, and then I should have gotten him to kill himself. Nice. Back then, nice. I should have, but I fucked it up. And I didn't fucking do it because I'm like, oh, no, he's a decent guy. You know, he's just misunderstood. Just like I have somebody said this to me, too. He's like, oh, just like your friend, Steve the Leave, just like your friend. I bully bully just like your friend Buster Live. Well, they all stabbed you in the back anyway, bitch. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, well, good point. Right. Like I, I did have those three and they all fucked me over eventually. So um, I, I'll just kind of like use this also like everybody that's like. Which isn't even a lot of people in the grand scheme of things, but Steve was one of the people pushing for this, too. They're like, oh, wait, Sluggy Wuggy's gonna stab you in the back and shit. It's like, realistically speaking, though, even if Slug did quote-unquote stab me in the back, which I don't think he would. But what can Slug do that you haven't done yet, Steve, or you haven't done already, that Buster Live hasn't done already, that I Bully Bullies hasn't done already? nothing and it's honestly funny enough it's the same logic that one of steve's friends uh used back in the days too they're like oh what can this person do that dean hasn't done to me yet that dean hasn't done already that the basically the motto here was like well somebody that i like defended and i was close to and shit backstabbed me already so what the fuck does it matter if this new person that's not very trustworthy that i'm talking to backstabs me like who cares so that's just my mindset too. It's like, who cares? Like fucking Steve has backstabbed me like the the most out of anybody. I don't think anybody can top that. Now he just spends his time like just threatening family members. Like he threatened your family member. He threatened my family member. He tries a lot now. of like. He, he always wants Ro to be everything. <laughs> he threatened fucking uh, Ross's family. It's like, come on, dude. Like you, you got to stop being a gay little bitch. Uh, this shit is gay. Steve being a victim or pretending to be a victim is gay. Steve is not a victim. I don't. I don't like. I don't understand people that will still defend this guy. Uh, like it's fucking retarded because he does everything. He's done everything to everybody. He just doesn't fuck off either. Like, you know how he always preaches about how he has a great job and and all this and that, but then he just comes back. Like he just comes back to spy on Repsion. He comes back to like maul about Repsion and not be happy and talk about you or threaten you or threaten me or fucking threaten Ross or threaten anybody really that's He's all just, he does it's the same fucking it's pathetic. repetitive shit like unironically like, it's just fucking pathetic every time I hope Steve grabs a knife and runs into a fucking wall like I believe that shit in right him. near his throat and just runs into a fucking wall. Like he's so fucking annoying. <laughs> it's like the worst part is like I I feel like I let this guy live for so fucking long. Like here's a perfect chance to figuratively and literally get rid of him so he's not a problem for anybody anymore and I didn't fucking do it. So I feel like I need I, I mean, look, the guy is so far gone now. He's too much of a narcissist to fucking kill himself. So he's not going to fucking do it, unfortunately. But Steve, if you ever do decide to kill yourself, I hope that you mention me in your suicide note and you say that the reason you hang yourself or stab yourself, cut your wrists, whatever it is, put a fucking toaster in a fucking bathtub, whatever, <laughs> is because of me. I hope you write, it's because of Sen that I did this. Oh, boy. Because I don't even care if, honestly, I don't care if I get tried for like, I, I'm pretty sure you can get hit for something legal with that, but I don't care. I wouldn't care, Steve, because the world would be gone from you, and that's that's all the world needs. That's all I need. I'm doing a favor to everybody, right? So then we don't have to see this annoying, smug drug addict all over the fucking place every fucking time, locking replies, making threats, doxing people, calling people pedophiles, uh, stalking Jane and Repsion. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is the point of this guy living, bro? Some people like, might say entertainment. Point? Like, yeah, aside from that, yeah, but like, aside from that, what is it? 
Why is he I'm drawing alive? a blank. <laughs> what the fuck I'm is drawing the a blank? blank. Maybe uh, making, like, organ what, donuts? Make... I don't know. Get slug, you know what? You should have killed this guy too. <laughs> yeah, but at the time, I didn't have any form of credibility. Who's the mole who sends you info? Info on what? Um, it is uh, my Flamenco cock and balls. Has one for Ralph. It's not that anyone is boring. They're just not as known as Godwin Sooner. P P P. I'm catching up with your chat. Yeah, no worries. Uh, the thing is, Slug has an entire spectrum of videos on him, other than the prepubescent Harley TBS calling you a transphobe and Ped Menko. There's no Aether either. You said A E T H E R. Is that a word? No Aether. We're oh Aether. I don't know. I don't do these big words. I'm a Neither simple bird I. lawyer. We're I'm considering Hugin. There's no based. point starting one on Slug, and I like Slug. Based. Yeah, Slug is uh, Slug can be a charming guy, you know. I'm just harmless. I'm a little dude. <laughs> what is this shit? But I've what seen I've seen a lot of the fucked shit that uh, sadly he's still stuck in the past. He can't change until he takes the help. Ah, uh, Steve. Steve from Chanry. Steve won't that accept help point. because even if you bring up the fact that he was a victim of domestic abuse, he then freaks out and acts like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. According to Mr. Drunken typing, there's a guy, wait, Mr. Drunken typing, there's a guy sending slug and send Meg's info. Uh, what kind of info are we talking? When? Also, who's Miss Drunken? According to Miss Drunken typing, there's a guy. Where did that? I don't even know. Steven, my pizza's getting cold. Also, if you're going to be a pothead, don't be a douchebag. You make the rest of us look worse. Check. True. Oh, I also want to bully Slug into crying like a goat. Mari, oh. I will start making you be a member to do that. <laughs> that will be a members only perk. But... I'm a slugophile. I'm a slugophile. Oh, no. I know, right? Oh, no. The slugophilia. <laughs> slugophilia isn't a crime. God. Did you ever notice how Steve only addresses the shit he can get away with, not the shit that's, like, exposing him? Yeah, I've noticed that. It's always... Slug it's always fucked. Like... Slug, I'm not gonna apologize. It was funny. What do you mean, Mari? I have no reason to apologize for that. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with FIFA? I just, you know, I just read some retard with less than 800 followers on Twitter. Uh, oh, writing God. some shit saying there is no new content until my channel is restored and if not sayonara enjoy looking at breadcrumbs trying to defame me now live motherfucker if you have 800 followers nobody's gonna defame you because nobody gives a shit about you i'm so sick of these people like huge and these fucking who, who the fuck is this person this is a steve follower too so i shouldn't be fucking surprised oh Let god you're oh, fucking like joker they're... Well, is like it, uh, Salento? <sighs> is this it? Is this a, it's, a, it's a gay archive channel, of course. Oh, boy. Um, so they just clip fucking gay shit. Like, what is this? Uh, XX Archives? So it's just some gay archive channel. Like, is this like, is this like Medic or Fembot or some shit? Oh, what the fuck? Look, I'll be real. Uh, fucking archive channels are shit. They're like, what is they're, the point? They're like a literal uh, copyright Unless violation. Unless you're like a Oblak's fucking archive channel where you actually make shit transformative. Like, what the yeah. fuck is the point? You run OBS like a bitch, and that's about it. Like, I guess, I guess, like, the point is like, oh, but, like, we can use the archive channels for research or something, I guess. Maybe. Maybe, but I don't know. How do you, but, like, okay, so here's my bigger question. How do you defame an archive channel? Is your purpose not just to archive, not be a fucking personality retard? Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, that's basically their whole purpose. 
They're just fucking a fucking retard. archive to be used by other people. Steve Delib moment right here. Oh, dude, the fame. Shut the fuck up. Kill yourself. I'm like, dude, you have no idea how fucking. Oh, I'm so sad that like YouTube has become this place where I can't just tell everybody to kill themselves because I think more people need to fucking hear this shit. You know, like uh, it's these people suck, man. All these people suck. Like, legitimately, some of the most boring shit ever. Like everything's like very dead which is part of the reason why i've been like away as well it's like there's nothing exciting everything is very boring everything is very bland um i, I just like for some reason the the community the commentary community it feels i don't know why it feels less important than it did like a year or two ago for some reason i don't know why and it feels smaller um, more than likely, it's just the fact that we got, not even we at this point, it's just the community itself lost everything that even gave it any value. Like, Chris Hansen's gone, a lot of the major players have been exposed for being shitty, so at what point do we just uh, not give a shit? Peace out, Alpha. Bet, bet, bet. Bye! Who is that guy? At first, I thought it was Alpha Russ. Oh, no. Like, it's, uh, oh, it's not Alpha Russ. It's one of Meg's friends. They seem chill. Who are who are these people? I get to I meet interesting people. people. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Uh, archives are just a reminder of a bygone age. Just bygone no age. Godwinson. I need to know all about what happened to Godwinson. Because I'll say this about godwinson that guy had uh, a lot of charisma like i'll give him this uh, ppp had career no you know what they do have charisma i think that's one of the things that kept them afloat too i don't know what's happened lately with adam but i know ppp fuck what was his name ashton ashton is still making content and with warski i don't know what's happened to adam i need to be up to speed on this shit I know you don't know who these people are, do you, Slug? <laughs> I know, uh, like, vaguely. Nothing, like, too crazy that I know about, but after a while, it all just sounds like the same thing in my eyes. You know, if I go back to making quote-unquote content, which is just <laughs> going to be some of the most shit-tier garbage bullshit fucking... I'm going <laughs> to just slap two things together and not give a fuck, because it's like... I don't know. Maybe it's just that I've become more uh, relaxed. Uh, no, not relaxed. More like jaded to this stupid shit. But like, I see some people. Um, oh yeah, it, it's also like the the fucking stability of this platform too. Uh, like you saw what happened to it's a Gundam. Like two times. Yeah, ago, he, got, like, he got he got he got demonetized. Kicked. Yeah, yeah, he got kicked from the partner program. Got it resolved, and when within the, like the next hour or something, got kicked out again. What the fuck is that? It's nutty. This is YouTube? This is YouTube now? Fuck you. Why do I want to make high quality videos? <laughs> like, the fuck? Fuck you. This... There's some idiots out there with like, you know, like, and God bless their hearts. Like, uh, they're, they're fucking, they're probably still dreaming of the future. But they're like, oh, I'm going to change the world with my video. It's like, nigga, no, you're not. <laughs> God like, damn it, Sam. I'm you... going to change the world with my video. On, on Sam Sora or, or, or Lethid. It's like, no, you're not, nigga. Chill. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's all right, Slug. I'm 25% black. But it's like... I'm it's just like going to say gonna for the, the sake of my shit, channel, you're bro. black. Chill. Like, what the fuck are these people? Like, you're, you're shooting for the stars, but you got to keep a level of realism, bro. Right? Fuck, man. Like, let me, let me, like, one, of, one of the weirdest examples it, it feels like everything has gone topsy-turvy too so let's see how things have just flipped as well like for example technicals didn't even hit 100k and you thought like a while back somebody behind the scenes in me were talking about this and they were speculating that technicals was gonna get hit 100k before willie mac the technicals was like they were basically riding technicals hard and franchise well, what do you what do you know technicals didn't fucking reach 100k it was actually willy mac that it, it feels like everything my entire perception 
Like every, basically everything I was doing was wrong and the opposite was right. So me defending Steve was wrong. Me back, like go, like not defending him would have been the right thing. Who could have seen that coming? But it was like, you're caught up in the whole delusion of, oh, but like your friend and do what's right and who sticks with you. It's like, this is so fucking gay. Don't do it. Don't fuck. Learn from me. Never make these mistakes. Cause it's not worth it. <laughs> what's Sen saying? Get a job. Yeah, that too. Get a yeah. job, bitches. Like yeah, as weird as it <laughs> as know, weird as much, it sounds. Pretty much that too. That too. That shit will take up like a majority of your time too. But and it like, stops you know. from being an idiot. Um, like kind of. Like you can still be an idiot in your job though. You just have the potential yeah. to get fired. Yeah, like for at least me, I've been able to reliably use my YouTube shit for the journalism things. I have a few internships with larger news companies, build up my resume and all that. And uh, more than likely, I'm able to put any and all these skills into multiple other careers. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, well, that's good. Also, Slug, sometimes I forget. You're actually fucking 26, right? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ancient. I'm not dying like Steve is from a drug you're, overdose. You're like young at heart. You are really just a better version of Steve, honestly. Minus the drugs, <laughs> uh, the drug dependency. Yeah. You know the narcissism. Um, so I used to say you were a sociopath. I don't really see that as much. Yeah. Maybe a mid tier. Maybe like less than a mid tier psychopath, but not really. <laughs> I doubt you'd actually really kill someone. Hell no. I think, you I don't think you're fucking cold enough to do that. Sorry. I slow. really can't. I I would not be able to kill someone. It would have to be like one of those extreme situations, you know what I mean? Like my kid is in danger or something like that level. Mind you. But like nah, I don't think I could ever bring myself to kill someone. Yeah, probably not. But Steve, I could see killing someone over like a Klondike bar. Bro, he literally said he would. What the fuck you mean? Like he <laughs> Like that's the thing. And I believe him. I believe I don't believe a lot of what he says, but for that like when you hear him say it, sometimes when you hear somebody say it, you you hear that like you'll either hear Okay, so when you hear somebody say something, sometimes you'll hear the bullshit or you'll hear them being legit and you could tell this guy would do it. No, yeah. I firmly believe that he would make with his promises the way he was telling me it. Yeah, he would hurt you. Like he was saying it. Like oh he yeah. Was describing every detail of what he would do to you, like in great detail. And like the way he was saying it, I'm like, yeah, this guy's disturbed, and he does really want to fucking do this dislike. And it's like, I mean, I used to hang out with disturbed people a lot. I have like, so I it's well to the mo like the typical person. It would look like it would be very like weird, and they would probably. Be like, hey, there's the Steve the Live guy, and he's actually kind of fucking creepy and like unhinged, and I think he might hurt somebody. I was just like, uh, sure, but like, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, you know? Kind yeah. of trying to ra rationalize the fucking behavior, like the thought he was going through. But then, like, when you get all this information and you see all the shit he's done, it's almost like difficult to be like, does Steve have like a legit reason to want to do these things it's like he's done worse shit to other people if not the same so again you'll never there's no reason for anybody to call steve a victim unless they're lying to themselves yeah it's, like... it's a dumb thing or they have some gay emotional connection like i used to right but even then steve will sell that shit out like in a heartbeat yeah it's, you're it's not really wrong. i don't know it's it's a really weird situation it's like like, Steve is someone that I'm not going to be surprised if we see him on the news for killing someone. Like, point blank, I would not be surprised. He just pops Steve up. Steve Lithgow, a Barry Ontario guy. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. It's something that's not surprising to me. And it's always what's funny. He, what's Hugito been doing? Ah, uh, Hugito. He's just I haven't just checked been up crying. on these fucking bums in like a hot minute. I should probably check up on them. Let's By the way, the word of warning, people have apparently warned some of you about me, but compared to Alpha, I'm the nice one. You know, 
I didn't get any way, warnings. Word of warning. Nobody's warned me about you. They've just been like, get... here's Meg and la 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 la. And I'm like, that's cool. I haven't got any warnings. Hey, Meg, but... can I ask you a question? Have you ever heard of a fucking bitch named Held? He, he goes by Yusha Sama in fucking Twitter, in Kiwi Farms, I think. Yusha Sama. I don't know. He has some lolly as his fucking PFP. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm no, over bro. here just excited for the fact that Jesus I'm able to Christ. cover some, like, cybersecurity shit. Because the... Speaking of lollies, one of the owners of the biggest hacking forum named Pom Pom Purin got arrested by the fucking feds because he was so stupid to see if his info was in a data leak. Okay, I'm checking up on Hugito right now. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wait, he's talking. Wait a minute. Oh, he's talking about Vectonic. What the fuck? I guess I upset Sailor a lot. Got his fans suggesting I take down my videos. I can see that worry. Circle jerk that around your community for the next week, you bunch of pussies. See, this is what I mean. This guy is fucking unhinged. It's a fucking comment, bro. He's strange. And no one now even like, wanted him to remove his shit either. That's what I'm confused by. Like, the fuck? He leaked two fucking screenshots, I guess. He, and oh. that, that's what he did today. I think it was Yunsik. He just fights with people on Twitter. I hope this guy never gets reported on Twitter, to be honest. I just want him to keep talking. <laughs> You're just like, hilarious. I need my content. You know, maybe I should start doing a spurg off. Oh, oh, he's talking to Beavers. Oh, he's trying to talk to Beavers McWood. Oh, yeah, yeah no, he, he tweeted under him. Imagine saying no one cares about Yuja while not only is everyone talking about me, but I can tell from the way he is that you got... Okay, I don't know if this is a point where I've become so fucking evil at this point. <laughs> I just I just think that if Hugin were to kill himself, if Steve were to kill himself, if Maya overdosed, any of those three people killed themselves, i just burst out laughing. <laughs> I'd be like, how? How did they do it? Like, oh, Jesus. I don't know what it is with me. I'm disturbed. I I'll be honest. I, I, I do worry about myself now because it's just like these people are fucking stupid. They're like little fucking, I don't know. Like, what's what's the point, I guess, in their existence? Who are you making happy? Who are you helping? Who are you, what are you, are you helping yourself? Like, he's just spurging at a now recording episode. Uh, oh, for God. that, I, sorry, I am sorry to the rest of the now recording for this pathetic whining. Tell him the day he wants me to stop. I will be waiting for an apology from that filthy dox. Okay. Oh, they were talking about me? Uh, Hugin <laughs> was talking about you, yeah. Oh boy. I Hugin forgot that no! Hugin's I forgot that Hugin's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was joking. I forgot he was alive. Hugin like no. there's only so much stupid shit I'm able to kind of remember. Because I think of stupid shit all the goddamn time. Like even Hugin during that no recording the one of the women i've been seeing came over and she set off my fucking alarm at my apartment and they thought i was being swatted i'm like nah everything's good her to do okay i got a question for the kiwi farms enthusiast all right because i found the fucking thread the other day that kind of like sort of low-key documented some of the shit what happened with josh moon and lolly back in like the age of like dick masterson bullshit like that because there was a point where i i saw this whole weird shit where moon didn't give a fuck or he was defending this shit for a while like this was back when masterson was a bigger a big deal i don't know if i would consider masterson a big deal now because it seemed like he kind of like fell off kind of like keem in a sense like he'll still have his worth in us like you know the legacy yeah but other than that it's he kind of fell off like he's not talked about like that but there was one point like the way ralph was at one point really famous for the stupid blood sports shit like w what happened with that like what's what's going on with this like do i, I gotta reread this fucking thread or something what is it there was also like this stupid uh thing that people were running with where josh moon was a pedo based on some fucking chats or whatever about him talking to somebody I don't know. Like this is this is like what what's going on? I didn't know 
this shit existed until very recently. So if I I, somebody can know. get me off to speed with that shit, I'll make if you want to. If you know anything about that. Uh, my favorite dumb online criminal thing was the Discord leaker. He literally commi committed treason because someone called him a cuck. Who the fuck is that? Oh, so TLDR, a one of the national guardsmen up uh, in a, up a few states, he leaked national like classified documents on a Discord server to look cool in front of teenagers. What? I'm not joking. Search up Discord Pentagon leaks. Okay. It's the I'll, dumbest. I'll do that if I remember. Hey, that's oh. fun. But it's the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing I have ever seen. And I'm thinking, hmm. I thought I was retarded. Oh. It's always fucking pitiful. Yeah. yeah. He got called a cuck. So he leaked classified documents on the war in ukraine <laughs> that's kind of funny he got called a cuck by teenagers <laughs> so he leaked government fucking documents at what point do you evaluate your life and think oh wow i'm retarded and then you say mind you before it mind you granted there you go however but it's always the dumbest fucking people that do that shit. Like, point blank, it's always the dumbest fucking people. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'm only 45 minutes into the now recording episode. Wait, how long is your episode? Hour and a half. Hour and a half? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. I almost want to listen to this, but at the same time... It's content. I don't know. Should I? It's content, so it's up to you. I know it's content slug, but like angry slug slug. You know what? Yeah, yeah I'll just I made like it. I made slug one is, of the thumbnails the for it. Aiden has ever done. Jay is right. The best thing about covering slug's redemption arc is that you'll never run out of content. Uh, Twitter geek. Oh, there's huge in. Holy oh, shit! I never wait. knew Mitch was this angry with me. When's my next interview? Now he wants to get in now recording again. Wait, what? Send me a... Oh, never mind. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck kind of comment is this? Just... Holy, he he leaves two. two quality. He made two of them. Let's see. Then she's gonna... Do, 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 do. Yujito. Yujito, porrito. Es mi conejito. <laughs> I'm surprised no one found out who was leaking classified info on the War Thunder forums regarding war vehicle specs. No oh, removed man. it, though, based on his new requirements for relevancy. My Kiwi Oof. Farb's involvement was when I had one of the modding Flamencos. I regret it before anyone does a hit piece. Tendency to hang around Godwinson's thread. If you Oof. want more spurging on Hugin, just read my community tab. Oh, okay. yeah. Hugin spurging is like a gift. It's a gift to the world. Also, I made uh, one of the two thumbnails for the uh, now recording episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Pippa Pipkin. It, I'll just That's send the, you the, the file. The That's the fucking thing that Flamenco wants to lick the toes of. Odd. Flamenco. There you go. Hey, Flamenco, don't fuck those kids. Flamenco, leave them kids alone. What I might do, since I want to build up my uh my little portfolio, I want to make like little shirt designs for uh for now recording <laughs> of each of the people in the style that I use. Cause why Jesus not? Jesus Christ, a lot of people hate Nick the Oreo, huh? Yeah, fucking hates. I just fucking I I just ran into my third alt. No, no, what is it? What would this be called? A parody or an alt account? Oh, God. I think it would be a parody. Is the real RTU actually... Oh, the Richard? real... Yeah, that's Review Tech USA. Real no? RTU is Review Tech USA. I don't know. I yeah. look at Flamenco's feed and I just see a lot of anti-Nick 
shit. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that, and it's always the same bullshit. It's like, oh, fuck Nick, fuck Nick, fuck Nick. But I'm over here like, um, who cares? Nick DiOrio just says shit. Fuck Ma- Michael Alberto got a thousand five hundred likes on this one. Oh, I forgot oh, about Michael tweeting. Alberto. Here he has some lolly shit that he's posting. Here's a oh, lolly gift no. from Michael Alberto. Oh no, lolly Alberto. What? Uh, God damn it! I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. That's terrible. 2K Michael by 2K. Alberto it. is a big deal, I think. Oh is yeah. It? Michael Alberto is a very weird creature, from what I've seen. <laughs> He's a very strange little man. Strange, Let's see. strange, what is strange this? Does he man. have like a a big fan base? Um, I don't think I, so. I I don't know who's famous anymore. Who's internet famous anymore? I don't know either. Salvo. I'm just uh, huge in talking about Salvo. He seemed to have a phone. And he posted on a server like it was a phone. Oh my god, he's good at good lakes. Oh, I have good lakes. So fucking autistic. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this fucking shit? What? From so like, oh, what's happening? What happened to the internet slug? Um. Look, if we blame the British, will we be fine? <laughs> if we blame the British, everything will be okay. Maybe. God, Michael Alberto just. The only thing I know about the guy is that he's just very uh, close with Nick Fuentes. Other than that, I don't know much about him. Mikey. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't fucking Maybe know. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, my God. I met a fat Canadian bitch the other day. Wait, you met Steve's mom? <laughs> no, I did not meet Miss Atkins. Some fat Canadian bitch. They play fucking. They one trick Mercy. Oh yeah, she's annoying. <laughs> I don't know why people annoy me more often now. I'm just getting tired of them. <laughs> You're just like, God damn it! I, I'm just. So I am, I'm just a biological Brit. Listen, the British, the British lost the war. It's in the Constitution for me to diss the British. It's in the Constitution. Wow. I'm sorry, Meg. Also, their age of consent thing hasn't been fixed for like hundreds of long, years. Way too fucking long. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of sussy. Kind of sussy wussy. Little sussy baka. Sluggy buggy. Oh, no. wuggy. Oh, lordy. I left my dad because he was gay. That's what Steve the Leave said. Oh, boy. So Steve he... admits to his daddy issues. Makes sense. And this is how he ended up. Steve's biggest fear in 2021. Got no idea what he's crying about here, but he seems in the panic. Only thing I do know is the three of us got him to rage at one point. Yeah, he <laughs> Me getting did. sent screenshots of Slug adding my mom and telling people I abuse women in Tommy's stuff on the point server using Colton's opinions and Ross's recanted screenshot. Um, recanted. Oh boy. So, okay, let's see what the definition of recanted is. I'm not good with big words. What's the definition of recanted slug? Take back. Okay, so there's a screenshot with allegations of Steve being abused, and then after Steve threatened the woman, she recanted. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, Steve, you're totally not an abuser, even though we know that you get violent on a whim now, right? True. Like, this is so fucking retarded. This is so stupid, Steve Alive. Like, you see how easy it is? It's so fucking easy. Like, he did... It's just like, I don't know, Slug. I don't... Slug, one cre- How did you... How did you ever... Oh, my Never mind. I was gonna be like, how did you ever like struggle have trouble with this guy? But then I remember like it was technically like one versus ten at that yeah. time. Remember all the screenshots I gave you? There was uh Mag Zorin, Turtle, fucking Oh my Grimm, god, it was uh, it Rocket, was everyone. Rocket Bitch was a oh. mother at the time. She pulled the Danny right there. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I won't name two other people out of privacy. Yeah, there um, were a lot of people in that, and I'm just Danny, over here like, God damn it, I'm trying. Well, at the time, Rev as well, before Steve double-crossed him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you actually, there were a librarian fucking uh phil Bill. okay so that's like 10 you had like literally 10 people working against you 10 plus i don't i don't yeah. really blame you it was tough like it and was then, it and was then everyone. you had me in there and then like i'm like slug is evil because steve said so i must kill slug the most evil mollusk around i know right just it was. I mean, there, there should have been red flags when we were like, "Yo, Steve, Slug's not doing anything," and he's like, "I don't care. I don't want him to gain relevancy." Yeah, that was weird to me because I'm thinking, <laughs> if, because if I was going to gain relevancy, it would have happened already. But the fact that he wanted to have this big little, this fucking big piss match or piss. Piss fit. I don't fucking know. He's fucking idiotic because he made himself so hated. And I'm like, wow. See, here's the thing. Steve cares about his internet image still. You're joking. He should like okay. He shouldn't because it doesn't matter anymore. And he he's even said it doesn't matter, and he knows it doesn't matter. Like but at the same time, you can tell he still cares by the way he rushes to try to quote unquote add context to a fucking thing or whatever it is. Like, you know how he rushed to add quote unquote context? Like, what for, Steve? Like, what he did no was so much it. worse, too. Like, not many people even give a shit. Like, you gave a shit more than anybody, really. Slug, you got like 10 likes on that, but like, um, maybe I don't know. This was not even that big of a deal. Like, I don't understand why Steve cares about his image so much. If it's not going to matter. Nothing matters for this guy anymore. Uh, I wasn't yeah. banned on Discord. I tell you a good story about Steve. Oh, you got banned off Discord. Oh, no. I slapped that I context, slapped that out, context of his out, mouth. out of his mouth. Beast! Whoa. So uh, true, GG. But... I really think Steve might just have daddy issues because he's still always whining and he always complains about someone not not treating him like the golden child. I mean, he called his dad gay and he said he left him because of that. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, this, that doesn't spell daddy issues. I don't know what that is. I don't fucking know. It's just so his fucking, weird. Is his mindset towards women and how, like, it's such a weird whole thing where it's like they're inferior to us, therefore we need to let them get away with more stuff. <laughs> that's like that's like uh, over the top sexism to like the cuck degree. So that's like that's like a full circle of sexism to where you just revert back revert back to being a cuck. Like you start <laughs> by going like some Andrew Tate route by saying all oh, women are inferior and then somehow you circle it back to being fucking I doves by by saying, oh but we're allowed to let them do whatever we want because it's so fucking dumb. Men. It's such a weird fucking like it's like passive aggressive cuck shit. Like it's so weird. Steve, you're a fucking retard. <laughs> You're not uh, wrong. All he does is fucking whine about the dumbest fucking shit. It's always going to be fucking weird. Let's maybe see, maybe I'm have... cynical about it. Let's see what I believe Belize is doing. Marcus Brahamson. What is he even up to? Um, He's every now and then commented on one of my jabs at Steve being like, oh, dude, that's too far. I'm like, Okay. What? He brought up your dad first. Yeah. That's why I'm it's like... It's funny how people think I'm trying to come back to a community when they are the ones begging me to come back all the time. The fucking Where? weird narcissism route that, like, Maya takes, that B IBB takes, that Steve takes, that fucking Hugin takes, it's like, you guys get it twisted. I I bet you anything, Steve, if one of his fucking copes will be like, Chris the Narc really wants me on a stream, guys, because I'm important. It's like, oh my fucking god. Like, that's what these people do. The the big cope, the way they prevent like how they don't off themselves. 
is that they pretend like they worth more than they are and then they get these weird egos like Hugin is thinks that everybody's talking about him that he's important and relevant because there was like an episode where they should talk him Steve thinks that people asking him to confront me on a stream means that they really want him and they really need him <laughs> Maya thinks that people wanting to shit on her and a log her is because she's very important and whatever. It's not like these these people all share one trait in common. You can find it. Like they're fucking delusional at this point, and they have this weird ego and narcissism to them to prevent themselves from like killing themselves at this point. Because I mean, at the, aside from Maya, Maya's the only one. But Hugin has thought about killing himself, Steve has thought about killing himself, and IBB has thought about killing themselves. But they never did it, so I guess they're suicide baiters by their own logic, or at least by Steve's logic. Uh, so we got those three idiots. And then we have Maya. Who Maya's the only one that's, to my knowledge, never thought about offing herself. But uh, she might just be the worst. In, She's in the just sense a of, strange little bean. I just see she's with a guy now. Like, it's almost funny how if somebody really wanted to be fucked up, they would show the dude, like, the images of what happened to Cooper and shit. Oh, yeah. Or the shit that happened to Ice Poseidon, right? And just fuck with her like that. It would be fucking hilarious. But then you would, you would like, I don't know. I, I, Steve would try to pull a victim card. Maya would try to pull a victim card. But when they did that, I'd just bring up every single thing they'd ever done. It's like... I'm not going to let you get away with the victim card at this point, because it's like you're not. You're just annoying little rats. And at this point, you you fucked so many people. You fucked over so many people. You've annoyed so many people, right, with your presence. And it's like, well, if they're going to be around and be annoying, we might as well do something back to them. That's Maybe. just the mindset of anybody, I think. Like the internet, too. You know, I think that's why doxing happens. Because they just, I don't know, people get fed up with certain personalities and they're like, well, I w we'll fuck with you in this sense. It's, uh, it's weird. Yeah. Also, let me see if Matt might like this. Nick yeah. would probably go into witness protection for making people pledge to rape him. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Wait, she's with a new guy and she's still bitching about Repsion? Yeah, she is. You can go see it on Twitter. I think she posted it publicly. Or you could go to Jessica Pizzle's Twitter. I think Jessica Pizzle posted it too. Or was that Ashley? I don't know. It was either Ashley or Jess. Eugene's name is Hujanico Bolokob. <laughs> <laughs> Hujanico Bolokob. Wait, is it actually? Did we get no. a Gmail account? So if you check on his Twitch... His little uh thing, his PayPal thing, doxes him. <laughs> That's awesome. You is it really huge, Nico Bolokopa? All right, Meg. Well, I'm gonna take that information. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesus. you guys like need to you need to understand that. Uh, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, and I say I don't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm just over here like, well. Like, you think you have to worry about Slug. Oh, for fuck's sake. Slug is like, Slug is like the nice version of me, if anything. He's like the good nice version of me. When I get cooking. It's like, uh. I'm it's just like a, a nice little, little guy. It's like a nice little three course meal that you need to put together, you know what I mean? Yeah. Kujin Balakabla. <laughs> Balakaba. Wait, which one is it? Which one is it? Is it the GG one or is it the the Meg one? His name is Russian. That's content. Oh, that makes sense. So we got a Russian living in the UK, huh? Oh no. Oh, I think he no. does kind of look Russian. I can believe it. Yeah. Given how he acts. It's kind of sussy, sussy sus. Okay, chat, how does this look for like a test piece of merch? Because I'm putting I this at this least a in some part, sometime. Oh, I actually might. That would actually be really funny. 
just point blank. Just a bloppy bloppies. I'm just a little dude. All right, slug. I'm gonna fuck off for now. No worries. But I will catch you later. Peace. Okay, chat. Now, let's continue with the now recording episode. Yeah, at the time I did that, but looking back, not a good choice. Wait, wait. Could so you're saying. Me. You're saying that you did that so that you could warn him that that is a thing that exists, is what yes. you're saying? Yeah. Can you I, can you see how that would be interpreted yeah, no, as a threat? I, I know that. I know okay. that. Looking back, I'm looking at it as, yeah, no, that was the dumbest fucking thing I Well, because you were, hot, you were hot conflict with him at that point, right? Um, there were times where me and Steve were on good terms. It's just... Ah, uh, I... We get into fights all the time, apparently. Okay. And I but guess, yeah. If, unless I'm able to prove otherwise, let's just go with I was in a hot, like, hot-headed moment. Because it's back in 2020. I did a full wipe of my channel sometime in December to try and actually move on from stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So, all right. So, next one. Uh, you said Salvo's full name on AC's stream. Oh, that was just me connecting dots of his Life of Sal channel and the rap name of Gucci Gorilla. Yeah. Right. And that, but I mean, in, in many ways, that's, I mean, you said his name on, on a stream. Well, yeah, no, I, I'm, I I'm not defending it. I'm just saying how I got to that. Congrats. I don't, I, I... Uh, okay. Yujito, I've seen that channel that you're talking about, Slug, and uh, he does have a video up, I think, on the channel right there that actually does state the full yeah, name. Right, but my my thing is right. I get it. Like it was public. I understand that. But we like we've all had this. Uh, you weren't here for this, Max. We've, yeah, we've had this conversation know. from the summer. It was yeah. just this. This was more of a thing on AC. Uh, AC did not know the situation he was walking into. Slug comes on and says his name on stream. Now, this is the first time his name has been public. Those videos, those channels were not easily found. Slug can just find everything. So I just, it, it made it optics wise. It's a, yeah, it's, it made it really bad. Yeah. For AC. Like, yeah. Like the only reasoning I could have ever thought was yeah, you just look at his Salvo Pancakes Twitter hold down the page down button and it goes from 2016 tweet straight to 2022 mm -hmm. and he had like old channels linked on that twitter and it, that's where i found all the info originally i was making a video on flamenco trying to just try and figure out the whole situation in video format and i found that by just scrolling through salvo's tweets right Okay. Uh, there was also a thing with Salvo where you um, you were threatening to dox him, and then he called your bluff and put out his own information? Yeah, that was a real big miscalculation on my part. Just holy fucking shit. <laughs> what, you didn't expect him to do that, I guess? I didn't, I didn't expect him to, because the plan was, and I'm not defending this, I'm just giving the information. And yeah, I, the plan was make a tweet, schedule out a tweet at the stated time of 12 a.m. And it would just say, I'm not going to dox you. This is how it feels when you dox people like Chris the Narc, yada, yada, yada. Okay. okay. Oh, so him, so you're saying like him coming out with that kind of like cut that at the knees for you because it yeah. was like, it was like a part one of a part two where it was going to be like a. Like a good old troll. Yeah, but it backfired as soon as he doxed himself. I'm like, oh shit. Well, I mean, Salvo. I'll be honest with you. It sounded like it backfired the moment that you said you were going to dox him. <laughs> yeah, that's well, never a yeah. great idea. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm I agreeing, it. but it's, yeah. it was a fucked up situation in full. Like, there's nothing that isn't fucked about that. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to say about the Salvo stuff that I'm missing? Um, nothing I can really think of. I'm just, I don't know. 
if All there's right. anything, feel free to bring it up. I'll yeah. try my best uh, to answer it. Next one, recording private calls and defending recording private calls. Um, I'm fine. My motto, at least, has always been, if you're going to say something in private, always expect someone to be recording. You're going to start in private. Mm -hmm. And, like, <coughs> my, yeah, you're not wrong on that, but it's just, hey, if you're going to say something, say it as if you would say it in public. Yeah. That's always been my motto. I've always lived in single party consent states. That's always what I've been accustomed to. And for certain things, it's like, oh, hey, I'm in a situation where it's my word against theirs. I better have a recording for my own safety. Uh, a criticism that I've heard a lot of you, Slug, is that um, basically a lot of people have told me don't like pretty much expect slug to release any private dms or any private conversations that is possible i mean that's for people that are being you know grossly uncharitable or what what have you but based on what you just said right there is it safe to assume then that anybody who interacts with you in dms or in private should expect or could expect that it you know would come out and that's like something that you're kind of saying you you're just going to do regardless of whether you say you're well, not going to release it or not or Oh, God, that one's actually a good question. I've always, I've had conversations with people that are still not going to see the light of day. And I plan to keep it that way. And I've also had conversations that have been released. I don't expect everyone to always feel like they're going to be recorded around me or. Well, let me ask you this. Is, is it. Is it part of the good boy arc to not do that anymore? Yeah. Like, I've I've never seen a reason to record, like, certain things. Even, uh, even with the background combo with Matt, I brought up, oh, yeah, I was still live, but I made sure that no one can hear desktop audio or my own microphone, put it on BRB, put on some music. That was really... Right. Okay. I, I was still live but I made sure no one could hear me, you, or anything of that sort. That's fair. You do yeah. stream quite a bit. Um, yeah. Speaking of recording calls, you recorded a call with uh, me, Tommy, Zyli. Oh, yeah. Uh, I that got was your a giant thing. Yeah, I got your thing right here. Um, I don't want to, like, I'll just read your thing, and it, you can give your side of the story. Uh, recently, Blank had posted a concerning message along the lines of suicide baiting to Twitter, uh, people like Tommy C, Chris and Ark, and Zyla Gets Real have blamed me and my team friends for running a gay op, a kind of campaign to cause issues behind the scenes without someone's knowledge to get blank to kill themselves. I have released a recording of my interaction with Tommy, Chris, Matt Pitt, and Zyla showing my side and them agreeing that I did not cause this despite the false narrative of being spread around by people like Jess Otippi. Uh, yeah, I, I want to make it clear, like, we've talked about this before, but I want to make clear there was, oh, yeah. no, there was no inclination that you were actually trying to gay op blank, gay op blank, to what caused him to uh, <laughs> yeah, like, have those thoughts or whatever. And uh, we did not think that. We were just trying to figure out your side of the story. Yeah, like, that's why I say the whole situation was really fucked. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm not blaming you guys at this point because... It, it was a whole stressful situation. I misread it, and I made that choice. I never deleted any of that stuff, or I didn't intend to, and I don't think I did. Did I? No, no. You did, but, uh, what, released any of what? Like, uh, deleted. De yeah. Yeah, like, deleted any of the tweets saying that shit. Okay. Because, like, I'd rather it still be out there, like, hey... I said this, it was dumb, I'm not going to try and avoid the fact that I said this. Okay. Uh, hey, Max, have you heard about the Chris Hansen drama? Uh, <laughs> lightly. I think maybe when I was just poking around about Slug, uh, somebody had explained it to me, but it's been a minute, so what what's that about it's it's uh so this this was one of the biggest things that happened in this community is that we all got chris well not we all but like augie nick uh all these people got chris hansen's attention because of the onision stuff chris hansen started covering onision and he was doing actually kind of a bad job at it and he was getting heavily criticized 
one person who uh, kind of uh, held the torch for Chris Hansen was our was uh oh god every time i remember the chris hansen shit i just cringe internally and my soul dies a little bit on the inside just oh god just burns my cold dead little heart like unironically it just burns my cold dead little heart why did you take up for that old fuck? At the time, I was dumb. I was a dumb little guy. What do you mean? Our man here, Angry Slug, who really <laughs> stood by Chris Hansen's side. And uh, this is how he was introduced to the community. Uh, Slug, um, what's your take on all this Chris Hansen stuff? Fuck Hansen. Fuck him. Right, Why? Okay. So... In the background, I would have, like, direct phone calls with him. And after a little while, he would just be like, oh, hey, we don't need to correct anything that you've said because it won't matter. And it was basically encouraging me to continue to lie. So you actually spoke to him on the phone? Yes, multiple been, times. No. Did he have that exact same voice? I planned yeah. to have him on stream at one point. Because I wanted to try and do, try and give him more credibility. Sigs, I will fight you. We will we will have a death match at some point. Just like fight to the goddamn death. But thank God that never happened because the dude's a fucking lying bastard. Uh, what Mitch asked was uh, behind the scenes did he have the hello? It's me, Chris Hansen. <laughs> no, so how are you doing? No. Leave a voice. Leave a voicemail. <laughs> Uh, did, he ever, did he ever show like a different side where he was kind of like talking he, he how he did. wanted to do stuff you know yeah he would ask me i would con consistently tell him don't try and fight with these people work with them work with the commentary people they're going to keep digging into you just work with them so that you're not fucked over okay did he ever tell yeah. you to take a seat over there no. Yeah. I know a few people would have loved that. <laughs> did, did he ever he ever ask, what's the screenshot right here, Mr. Slug? Would you like to have a seat? No, he actually looked into that uh like Rohan shit mm -hmm. and he didn't find anything worthwhile. Okay. Uh like, I got a uh my researcher found an interesting screenshot. This is uh back oh, this is still your app here, Slugs. Uh, well, I do hope you enjoy the video coming out about your rants on stream, and Augie replies, what kind of rants? And you reply, the kind that can get your entire channels canceled. And Augie says, Lowell, I'd like to see yeah. you try. And you say, the racist rants on X Panda talking about the connections uh, to the alt-right and the KKK alongside the West so Baptist trolled. Church. I got so fucking trolled by fucking Aiden Project. A 15-year-old. Yeah, at the time, I got so fucking trolled. I was so new to the whole content creation thing. I just got flat out trolled. Like, so, I'm not going to even deny it. Like, I got so he, fully fucking trolled. So they sent you a link to a thing, and you... No, they sent me Exit Panda's YouTube, and I just bit on that, took the bait, and ran with what it. Happened, it was so fucking What happened, Aiden dumb. came to you and he said, hey, listen, I got some inside information. You know Nick, this guy, Nicholas DiOrio, and these Augie guys, they're kind of really... I'm literally just reliving some of the dumbest moments online for me, and it's like, you know, Slug, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot, Slug. Like, God fucking damn, dude. You, sir, are a moron. Like, goddamn. Into the KKK in the Westboro Baptist Church. You know that, right? <laughs> and you took this 15 year old kid I at did. his word. It was so stupid. It was so dumb of me to do that. Did you know who Aiden was at that point? I did not know. Oh, boy. Yeah. Again, I was very new to the um, community. So you're chalking it up to naivete at that point? Naivete, but the fact that I still went through with it doesn't really cancel out the fuck up. At least in my eyes. Uh, did you lie about being in Onision's Discord server? 
No, I did not. I was actually in there multiple times. I used multiple accounts to get in there at the time. I would even have at at the time Heat Boss would even provide me the a phone number to use to make a new account to get in. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I right, was so. in there. There was nothing of real value. So you're saying you were in the server? Yeah, I was in the server. I would record those VCs at the time and then publish them. Okay. Uh, and yeah. you would weren't you selling like that on Patreon? So at the time, I thought, you know what? I'm going to open up a Patreon. Stupid fucking choice. Because then it looked like, oh, he's putting everything behind a paywall. I'm I can't defend it because like it looks like that and I don't even know how I could defend that or just be like no it it wasn't because it was yes Lisa that was me I was the guy leaking all of the discord vcs from Onesia and all of that shit I was the guy leaking all of them heat boss is a fucking annoying ass piece of shit like, he is a fucking scumbag. Like, beyond a fucking shadow of a doubt, he's a goddamn scumbag. And it was always the most annoying fucking shit you could ever see. But goddamn. I know, right? <laughs> Wasn't, but I'm. I don't think I'm able to convince anyone otherwise. Okay. So I'll take the L on that. Okay. Uh, threatened to DMCA Augie's channel. Dumbest thing I did. Uh, I have a tweet here where you say, uh, yeah. "Took a shot, calm down, went too far. Still gonna shit talk you." However, I did go too too far with the DMCA threat. Yeah. Okay. I stand by that. I stand by the fact I went way too far. Okay. All right, this is my... I was the dumbest little hamster. I was a dumb little guy, chat. The dumbest of little guys. Jesus. My favorite one, uh, threatened to poison someone's animal. Uh, first oh, one boy. for blank, I'm going after his dog and his horses. Quick poisoning. Yeah. That one is a complicated situation as the person, I'm not going to say the name just so y'all don't get dragged into it. The person. Rebecca Black. Uh, <laughs> Friday? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get down. Wait, I was going for I was going for a different one. There was one that killed itself. Oh, oh, wrong one. Oh, oh, look, <laughs> he just drops that and just dips. <laughs> <laughs> he just drops a suicide and dips. What the fuck? That's beavers for you. <laughs> he is my spirit animal. <laughs> oh. But the person that I was threatening at the time was someone that was harassing my family and trying to get my mother killed. What? Yep. So this this keeps on coming up. You, again, part part of the, the good boy arc thing. Um, yeah. You agree, tit for tat, no good. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I would use the other expression of it, but I don't want to piss off Toxic. So, yeah. <laughs> eye for an eye. Fuck you. Stay over there. <laughs> See? He's See, keeping I his it. eye on you, D-Max. He's That's keeping true. his eye on you. His one burning eye. <laughs> hey, man. Get him a fancy eye patch. Put Wi-Fi on it. We can have a little TV. He's got it. By the way, since, we, since we're having a little interjection time yet, and Matt's a dick and he doesn't Who like it. Who killed his fellow beavers? Right? <laughs> oh, I, I, Jesus. I, I didn't go look it up. I forgot. Oh, um, I'll find it. Anyway, the point that, the point that I was going to make is... Whitney Houston. Okay, the point I was going to make, it's a bit late now, right? But you know those links that apparently have the cheese pizza in them? Oh. Right? Did you these it? have to 
No, these have to be from the worst cheese pizza consumers ever because the fourth <laughs> link has the word pedophile in it. Oh, that is like so <laughs> that, that whole situation. That whole situation. They were all so the doc spins were <laughs> what they were talking about. The doc spins contained like X videos links, Pornhub links. All of those links were dead links. They error 404. I used dead link checkers to make sure before I tweeted that out. This was already debunked sometime. Let me pull up Fuzo's. Then why channel. not reply to her and say, hey, those are dead links? Again, I said very bad choice of words that I chose. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's like the worst. It's like fucking telling your fucking mom to go kill herself. Or something. <laughs> like, no, I meant have a lovely day, you know, or so that is a very bad choice of words, you know? No, I, I agree. Yeah, it was the worst choice of words. Yeah. And that person that made that claim was dating the person who tried to kill my mother. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even <laughs> fucking joking. When you say try, what do you mean? With a candlestick. With a candlestick in the library. <laughs> outside so, your, your, your window? With her radio? So like, my what? mother <laughs> has a lot of heart issues. And this person knew this as they were a friend of mine. Was she route. sending her jump scares? Did they pull the plug? <laughs> no, his. This was something that I knew he was doing. He would basically harass her work, her personal phone, and anyone around her to the point so, where she would have a heart attack from the stress. Yeah, they were trying to stress her out. Yeah. yeah. Peace out, Kian. Now trying to figure out if I did all of them show the pupper. He is upstairs. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ma Ma uh, Mitch, Mitch can relate. He's also got a fucked up heart. The difference being that he's in his thirties. Mitch. Uh, <laughs> Mitch we'll, we'll find out in a couple of weeks. I've got this monitor on that I send back next week. So hey. We'll find oh. out. Mitch what? is gonna die. Honestly, I think <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we're all gonna die. We're all I gonna it was just die. bad weed. It's been. I'm gonna get a new co-host. Oh. <laughs> it's one type of the original three. Hey, you want to hope I don't die? Because yeah, drop I'll, off, tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. We got enough people. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you recovery. after the recording when Slug's gone why you don't want me to die. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh god. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, good point. Good point. No worries. Yeah, Matt, oh, Matt and D Max have caught on. Shut up, bitch. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fearful. All right. I get it. It's I get fucking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So moving on, you uh, apparently accused Steve DeLeave of spreading cheese pizza. So that was basically oh, okay. using Maya's logic against him. There was I, a Google uh, Drive let me, that... Let me read the tweet. I'm, it's still surprising that a guy named Steve Believe on YouTube keeps spreading cheese pizza around on his channel, and he has the balls to accuse me of doxing without evidence. Oh, was that from back in 2020? Yes, that was. Ah, uh, yeah. At the time, I thought there was actual CP in there. Because <laughs> at the time... I know, it's so fucking dumb. Because back in 2020, Maya was still dating Repsion. I was in the good graces of Repsion, Maya, all of them. This was before the whole crazy Maya arc. And hmm. at the time, we all thought, oh, Maya's not lying. Turns out she was. There was never any CP on there. And oh, lordy. Using Maya's own logic even though she still continues to say that drive had CP on it. Steve would share that drive around everywhere. Oh. Okay. All right. Matt Pitt here with a, with a clarification now that I've learned that Steve DeLeave claims that he was not sharing that drive. He was sharing another drive that he had remade uh, that took off the Maya pictures. So he Catch was in Steve. possession at some point? <laughs> well, but I'm saying he would, that, but that's not apparently. Like, I'm, not, I'm not going to make. Right. I'm not going to make the accusation at this point because I know he always wants to be bad faith and make that accusation of me. Okay. So, I don't care. I know he never posted CP, but he also knows I never posted CP either because there's a Steve. stream on his channel. Yeah, Steve, you can get you can get bunker. slug. You can get a W on Slug right now if you just post CP. You'd be like, ha, you're no! wrong, Slug. <laughs> Damn it, D-Max. No! 
uh, just post a picture of cheese pizza. Just do it. I was I was about to say, you know, we've we've spoken about a lot of cheese pizza. There's some guy in here that likes pizza so much he made a song about it. Pizzas, 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 I love you. God damn it, John's sake. There we go, everyone. time to bring that up. All right. Oh, so what's your opinion on saying the N-word? What the fuck? Who? Why are you... Oh, lordy. Me? That's like a... I already made a video on that, all right? I refer everybody to my defensive Keemstar video, circa 2016. Dude. Very base. Toxic, have you seen that video, by the way? You will like D-Max a lot more when I you saw see it. that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what was your Great take video. on that? Great video. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, D-Max, did you know that this... Kind of wanted to reference all of the... Uh, one of D-Max's old videos just to be able to be a goofy little guy. That was really it. I wanted to be a goofy little guy. Like other like unironically, that was it. I just wanted to be a goofy little guy. Because holy fuck, that was funny. At least for me, at least. I found it funny. D Max is a goofy little guy. We we stan. We stan D Max. He's chill. Um, yeah. Let's continue. Twenty three different ways to spell it. Uh, uh, 23 <laughs> specifically? Yeah, yeah, we've worked we figured it out yesterday. 23 yeah. ways. 23. 23. Oh my god, Jesus. Hatred, hatred it, is uh in all languages. It knows that it, creed. It's it knows, color. Count, uh, it knows it's, color though. It knows color. Does that count N word towers? <laughs> or like yeah, because I would throw N word towers in there, you know? No. Anyway, Matt's gonna anyway. shit himself. Let's get back to the interview. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What? Can you flip the ER to RE? Is that different? Uh, we'll have to consult the list again. Uh, like, oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, I was I was gonna say I was gonna say that Mitch should tell oh, us boy. how many spellings they are and not be so niggardly about it. Whoa! <laughs> Matt, what? That's, oh, a, that's, that's a real word. word. I yeah, so much to clip it. Matt, you are such a nagger. <laughs> Yeah, stop getting all niggly about it. <laughs> you stand niggers. <laughs> Toxic just says the word. Is yeah, that what we're all saying? Sure Toxic just says it. <laughs> Toxic just how I said it. Oh my gosh. All right, back yeah. to uh, my little I don't know my channel anymore, all right? I can say. <laughs> no, now you can't say it, buddy, all right? Because <laughs> you oh, did say I, it on, on your Guys, channel. it was actually 18, not 23. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. How do you fucking miscount? Yes, the fucking screech. Well, your stream is... Nah, I'm going to be live doing a bunch of other things, so I I think it'll be fine. Four more. <laughs> Wait, how many more is that? It's well, 18. I didn't have it in front of me. I was going off memory. Okay. All right, fair enough. All right, so you... uh, So, Slug, back to this. Uh, You accused two people of making a false bomb threat, sending a bomb to someone's home, and accused them of doxing. There's a tweet right here. Uh, January so, 19th, oh, the in, lucky fell in librarian stuff. Yeah, filed a false oh. bomb threat to my university. That's why I believe I was uh, them who sent the pipe bomb to my home. The reason why I know that is uh, I think because I've already acknowledged this. I did lie about that. Like I a full blown lie. Yeah, about the um, bomb threat and the pipe bomb thing. Just, just like a, you just fucking made that one up, like out of thin yeah, air. At, at the time, yeah, I did. Out of thin fucking air. Dumb decision. Mitch, you see what I'm saying? What? That's what that's <laughs> hey, I can't I can't move on from this shit without admitting to fucking up. Yeah, he admits try. he did a he admits he did a boo-boo. <laughs> okay. He did an oopsie. But right. but Lucky Phil and Librarian did actually dox my university at the time. And they were actively trying to find win. Oh yeah, well slug. Oh boy, the entire interview is like a police interview recording that got out. <laughs> True. And where my classes were. You're you're a big guy on an eye for an eye type of stuff, aren't you? You're big on that. You do something like, fucked up to me, I'm gonna do something fucked up to you. Yeah, that's your motto. Not okay. anymore. I'm slowly getting out of that mindset. I hope you rapidly get out of that mindset. <laughs> to be fair, I, I have been. 
totally okay. isn't. It took me maybe a few months. Uh, the the issue, right, <clears throat> is you were saying you were saying all this stuff <clears throat> before. Uh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm being a good boy. I'm getting out of that mindset, and then you went right after C.J. Brown, oh, like yeah, a few months like, ago. A few months. Um, I think that was. I think I can actually pull that up. Let's see. Well, well, while, you're, you. while you're pulling that up, um, I, I mean, maybe like, do you understand too that like the eye for an eye thing that also just applies to people that are not in the good graces of just the wider community, like just because. Wider? W- w- not wi- wider, <laughs> wider, 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 not wider. <laughs> this got damn real whitey. like apartheid <laughs> up in here. God damn it! Oh, apartheid. I blame beavers. Don't yeah, bring me up. Yeah. What the... <laughs> What's going on here, Nelson Mandela? Shit. But also, like... why are we, why are we grilling yeah. Slug on the CJ shit? CJ what... doesn't like me. As far as I can, no, I just, doing some see, first first I, that's I literally the moment. point of what I, that's literally the point of what I was going to say though is that just because like the community or just like a bunch of people don't like one person doesn't mean that you can do like something fucked up to whoever it is that's in the bad graces of you know the wider commu- wider Stop community. Stop bringing the white people into it. I I can't <laughs> help it. All right, it's just in my vernacular. There you go. Oh my god, can you just use normal words? I don't know that I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> it's my no, nomenclature, my vernacular. No, because what does that mean? <laughs> About having a Kiwi Farms threat. Yeah. Like oh boy. I One tweet. of the weirdest things was um me and CJ. I've kind of become nor- neutral towards CJ at this point, and I believe he's done the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're. It's a pretty easy person. Yeah, you, you, For those who yeah. also didn't understand, the word vernacular is the language or dialect spoken by the ordinary people in a particular country or region. Thank you. Just yes, fucking say slug. the words. Slug. Say the words. Not not Thank vernacular. You Jesus. Slug. Slug. Not only did you like harass his wife, but you also like. I actually never went. I never contacted or did anything of that sort towards his wife. What did you do? The most I did was. I looked up the stuff, and I even said this to Bunk on stream. I did, at the time, this was around the days of January 7th, 23. Mm -hmm. And I did dox CJ's wife directly to him. Like, (laughs) wait, how? I'm not proud of this. Wait, wait, where? Like, where? What do you mean? Not Again. on Twitter, if I'm able to remember. If I did, did I? No, I don't think I did. Was this in a VC or like what? I don't understand. Um, there was a private call I had with uh, CJ, Luke, all of them, and uh, where it was just like, oh, they're all doxing parking tigers. And, all that. and you were like, hey, I want to dox too. <laughs> oh. Nah. They so you just, like, just said her name? A- I brought up the fact that she worked at blank. Oh, and I forgot to say, I swear I, to God. Like, oh my no, God. no, no. I'm saying blank. Is she targets are out things. Walmart? No, it's not. No. GameStop? No, no it's stop no, guessing. No, it's toxic. No. <laughs> you got to get our boy in trouble. <laughs> right, I'm going to pull up all the top companies in America. Give me a second. No! <laughs> no. Don't no. answer it, Slut. Don't answer it. I'm yes. not. No. Please. Yes. Please. <laughs> Amazon? I just no. did that. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I completely agree. That was a CJW at that point. Because, goddamn. Uh, it was a dumb fucking thing to do. Like, god fucking damn. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, All right. What were you Shut saying, Steve? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bonk. There you go. All right, so, so you were saying that uh, you said that stuff. Also, you were saying also there was also a situation where you uh, posted pictures uh, claiming that CJ Brown was posting uh, like like oh, dead animals that, in a Discord, and you ruined his chance should... at boxing bunk because of that. Oh yeah, no, I've I think I've already admitted to lying about that. It's so still that was, on Maggot's thing. Wait, so when that was a lie. That? that was a lie. Because yeah. you originally said you did it by accident. Again, a lie is a lie, even if I did it on accident. It's still a lie. Okay, but... Uh, 
So you well, said it was yes, accident. It is. How does that make? Wait, wait, wait. But like you, you said it was an it accident. Was n- what yes, does that it mean? was an accident. Like me miss seeing shit. Well, but again, what? it's still a lie. It's still a lie. Okay. Well, that's, who did, that's what did my you see? Point. I don't understand what you saw. Um. What did you at think? At that you saw? point. Also, wait, no, I didn't ruin uh, CJ's fight with Bunk. Keem actually tweeted out, yeah, no, CJ fucked it up by posting a gif of someone that looks like me shitting on a railroad track. Well, as in Keemstar, it looks like Keemstar, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, you're like, you like, you brought it to attention because... Oh, yeah, I did. It was, it was a stupid choice. CJ, but... CJ was never going to box Bunk. You don't know that, Beaver. You don't know that. You I was going to say, did you see his tits? Yeah, I'm telling you. That man would need attack. two years. CJ, that I man, believe in you. That man will oh. never box. He cannot I believe box. in you, CJ. I think he, I think he, he wears would've... glasses. Bro, he would have been there. He would have been there. He so does lost, Sam Hyde, though. But he Sam Hyde actually trains. He probably would have lost, but I think he would have been there, bro. I think he would have saw that out. He I don't think he would have. I don't know, man. Like he CJ's got himself got banned. Why are you all Team CJ? What the I'm fuck not. is wrong with you guys? <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> the guy has literally been like fucking stalking me for months. <laughs> True. Like, oh, you know, that okay. CJ guy. That CJ guy. Like, he's great. To a chat and just shits on you. He's not stalking. Yeah, who doesn't stalk Bro, people? I got yeah. I got sent fucking DMs from some person. I can't even remember who. Right, that the the bastard was talking about me in a Discord that I couldn't even see months ago. Yeah, he, he was talking. He was talking he about wanting to get my. He was talking about wanting oh. to get my information and shit. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Ooh. I'm pretty I'm sure. Okay I might be wrong that. about that. I disagree. Okay, well, uh, good job. <laughs> he's fucking <laughs> slug. <God damn. laughs> he stuck what? up for me today on Twitter, so he's all good in my book. I don't care what he does. Yeah, dude, CJ has been like pro us for a little <laughs> while, so except yeah. for you, he's not pro me. Yeah, but he's been pro now recording. He's pro majority of us. But Beavers, it's so okay. easy. You just, you just, if you just go, hey, CJ, I think you're all right. He'll go like, ah, yeah, okay. All right, we're done. That's it. Beavers, like, like, literally every... All right, motherfuckers, you want to play this game? You want to play this game? Can I be uh, honest with you? Yeah, I don't know. Can I be honest I'm with you? Scared. This is what I think. This is what I think, Beavers. I think you're CJ's favorite. And I think he's like flirting with you. What? Yeah, like a teenage <laughs> boy. Yeah, that's what I think. Uh, Don't try to come oh back on us. I think he's. I you, think he's. You no, that's, your what, that's what I you unironically think. I think he's your. You're. You're his favorite. You're his favorite. You've all made your beds. I won't tell you. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Why is it? I'm on your side with this, Beavers. I think that he shouldn't be happening? looking up your private information. I don't. I don't. I don't know if he actually did that. Let's be something. Oh, I did. Oh, he did. Oh, what? I, can I don't know if he did, but I'm saying he did. <laughs> okay, but I don't know if he did. I I rethought about the situation. Do you want me to I cut think it? he did. Yes. I think he did. No, you can leave it in. I don't care. I'll cut it. Okay. I think he did, but maybe he didn't. Who knows? Schrodinger's docks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. It's in a state of uh, maybe has happened, but maybe hasn't happened. Yeah. Eh, why enough. is it why is it the one time i'm on it's just oh doc stock 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 you know why. slug you know, you know why, why. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> maybe because your whole reputation has been doc stock 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 not as of late for now right. well that's what we're here to discuss you fuck. it's like when Mac goes doc stock stock stocks it's like that boots cats boots cats, boots, cats. <laughs> boots, cats. cats. <laughs> the way you were saying Mike, ducks, Mike ducks, device, ducks, please ducks. remix it Please remix it. All right. I think I've gone through the whole little checklist. There's probably like a plethora of stuff that I've missed. Uh, is there anything else you want to uh, add, Slug, before I let you go? Um, I don't know. Uh, Hugin still being weird, threatening to dox Mitch. Like, I mean, can weird. I, since you brought him Mitch. up here, sorry, since you brought him up here, uh, you did say recently that you've been saying... Um, I think you had stopped at some point, uh, but you were saying that Hujin beats his wife. Uh, so would you like that to explain? Has been, so that has just been like some crazy meme because the guy's openly been calling me a pedophile, Badwick a pedophile. He's been calling everyone around he can a pedophile. And I'm like, even Sen said this on my stream, Sluggy, he's stolen your shtick. 
No. Like, God damn it. <laughs> no, oh. but... So, what, so more, where did that come one from? One more thing. Oh, oh shit. Oh, uh, I just wanted to say, now that we're speaking about him, right? There was this thing on Twitter where he, like, tagged me today, and he was like, in regards to some... I think I know what he was talking about, like, in regards to holding people to the same standards about, like... You know, you know, like I always say, if you do something, then, you know, you can't really cry if it happens to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm not... To clarify, <laughs> I'm not saying... <laughs> no. That if you have something done to you, that it is okay for you to do it to them, right? But what I'm saying yeah. is, is nobody's going to have sympathy for you when it happens. Yeah. Right? You're saying, you're, you're, are yeah. you basically saying you just... play stupid games, you win stupid prizes? Yeah, I'm not yeah. condoning yeah. the behavior. I'm not, I'm not telling you to go fucking fake a screenshot or call this guy a fucking sister fucker or something like that. What I'm saying is, is when, shit, when people do shit like this... When you do it back to them, nobody feels sympathy. And when both of yeah. you start going at it with each other, nobody cares. Regardless, the idiots. I know you didn't. I, I know this wasn't your intention, Beavers, but he is a lying maniac, and he probably took that and goes, "Oh well, I'll just accuse someone of doing something to me, and therefore I can though go, go do it to them if regardless. I just accuse them that they did it first. Regardless, so openly regardless, said, Mitch is too dumb to dox. <laughs> That's true. I believe in you, Mitch. I will give you a cookie if you can. Regardless of all right. that, all right, Pika P actually said that me and Beavers actually said that was fucked up when Sailor brought up that uh, he had found, like, a picture of his wife or some shit. Even though it was public, we both said that that's fucked up, right? So, like, regardless, we still, we were still stuck to our fucking gra- uh, our grounds. When no, it comes to yeah, I, I can... I can acknowledge when things are fucked, right? Without I personally actually don't think he's <laughs> ever had a wife. So I've All always saying, just been I, like... I prefer when people just call each other names and shit on each other on the internet. I don't like this whole, oh, look at your wife. Oh, I'll do this. Oh, well, how about this, yeah, buddy? But... Oh, well, you raped your well, soldier. Yeah. Okay, Didn't bro, we... but who the, like... who the fuck... Who the fuck cares if some... Okay, I'm going to be real, right, for a second, and people are going to disagree with me. I already know it. I'll see you in the comments. Maybe I'll reply. <laughs> Maybe I'll just laugh at you. But um, when somebody says something on the internet, like, yeah, you beat your wife. Okay. And. Yeah, no, I agree. I, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying pictures of wife, bro. Like pictures. Of no, pictures wife. of pictures and shit like that is different, right? But yeah. the original, the original thing that he's now using the justification to like make that he's not he's doing that on purpose he's not no he's doing it no he's doing it on purpose but what i'm saying is he then tries to make these arguments based on the things that he's doing on purpose true like he'll he'll try to make a moral argument or something about it what i'm saying is somebody calls you a wife beat online doesn't really fucking matter somebody calls you a sister fuck online doesn't really matter you only get upset if it's true true I mean, no, that's yeah. why I never call toxic a pedophile. Exactly. <laughs> that would be very angry. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. All right. Look, uh, he stores the flash drive underneath the iPad. Slug, thank you for the links, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> toxic. Toxic. One of those links <laughs> has the word pedophile in it. It is 100% honeypot. Please do not click that. that. The first I hate <laughs> it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you for bringing this up, Slug. Uh, every time someone had tried to ask you to speak Spanish, you would refuse. And that kind of brought on us thinking that you didn't know Spanish, which turned into that you're not really Hispanic. Like, so you can speak Spanish, is what you're saying. Si, yo hablo, pero mi español y mi inglés es muy malo. You fucking learned it in the past eight months. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, Slug. That does sound like you have an accent. So when did you learn Spanish? I learned it when I was about three. Okay. My mom's Venezuelan. My dad's Did... American. So you grew up speaking it? I grew up speaking it as we would live in Caracas mm-hmm. and Valencia. And throughout there, I'd just talk with cousins, aunts, uncles. Okay. So you, But you do have an accent. Like... <laughs> well, like, I was going to be racist then. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's just fair. Yeah. I was gonna fair, call like, you a Mexican and realize that you must mean Spanish, Spanish, not oh Mexican. Boy. Spanish. Mexican Spanish is scary. To be fair, with like lack of accents or like difficulty speaking things, I used to be able to speak fluent Portuguese when I was younger. No I way. Yeah. Skill. Portuguese yeah. is like yeah. 
wild. Dating yeah, I lost that, that skill spoken. just because I. I, like I lost that skill just because I wasn't. I don't fucking know what you just said, bro. I don't, <laughs> I'm not gonna even try. I'm too my, dumb. My thing is when like, Spanish. like at one point we had you on stage with Mayhem, who speaks fluent Spanish, and she she spoke Spanish to you, and you just kind of, you just didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to. I was fucking nervous. Were you uh, nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. And you're like, no, por qué? So would you say that you're fluent? Um. I'm fluent in Spanglish at this point because uh -oh. I've so had no. to speak. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had to speak multiple languages in different points in my life. I suppose also, right? Just to like, I mean, I I sometimes give Slug benefit of a doubt. You know, I've always been Team Slug, right? Woo! Um, but like, I can speak uh, English and Afrikaans, right? Yeah. I am fluent in Afrikaans. But can you understand this you... one, Beavis? Você tem um penis pequeno. I told that's not Afrikaans. Penguin? No, I know it's not. It's Portuguese. That's Portuguese. Yeah, I yes. told you. I don't know how to speak it anymore. <laughs> what the fuck is the point? You didn't understand it, so I was just going to say Afrikaans, and you got your Afrikaans. Okay, Beavis, that's what I'm how hearing. This... <laughs> how about this one? The Antwerp. The Antwerp. The Antwerp. Hello. The, the answer. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. No, but what I'm saying is... Did you say no? What I'm saying is, I can... Oh my god! I, I am fluent. I am fluent in both English and Afrikaans, right? If I really try, right? Because my family are Afrikaans. I took it in school. You know, all Jesus. That. However, because of my accent, I struggle to speak Afrikaans, right? So if a, if a native Afrikaans speaker hears me speak Afrikaans, they can hear that, like, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when Slug speaks like Spanish, you know, I can kind of maybe understand that it doesn't really gel too well, is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Look, when you get called gringuito idiota by your grandmother enough times, it's like, fuck, am I an idiot white boy? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, anyone as, is. as a matter of fact, by the way, I, uh, with my Afrikaans English thing, I don't actually speak Afrikaans to my family. They speak Afrikaans to me. I reply to them in English. They speak Afrikaans to me. Yeah. Because I refuse. Like that's... I refuse to speak the language because it <laughs> hurts my mouth and my ears. You're like a French oh, person at the Eurovision Award uh, contest <laughs> when everyone's speaking English, but they refuse to True. speak it. Like, no, I don't, I don't speak all French. That's so people, I, mean, I, I don't. I, I'm sorry. Parlez-vous Oh, Jesus. So, Slug, I don't want to dox your dog or anything, but your dog's name apparently is quote-unquote White Boy. Is his real name yes. Gringo? His real name is Gringo. Oh, I didn't know that. Is that real? Is that a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Well, I just doxed your dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. He's dog been doxer. making enough views and subs on YouTube and money. So Stop pissing on the carpet, you Gringo. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of epic, actually. I, I never caught up on that until just this moment. That's 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 cool. I like that. Yeah. Any more questions for Slug? Um, uh, good boy R continued? No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. 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 Is taking no. Away my good noodle stars. No. Well, keep on the straight and narrow, Listen, I guess. I'm autistic. I see patterns, okay? <laughs> well, I see you, Slug. That's not a pattern. That's a fucking, like, right in your face. <laughs> That's just one, two. Oh, <laughs> man, I have bad vision, all right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Talk, 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 you mean you like, see it? I can see his pattern. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I've see seen this episode right? before. Well, it's just so funny, because every time we would bring up something with you, Slug, you kept on going, yeah, that was the worst one. It was like every single one was <laughs> the worst one. Until next in time. In the worst, in the worst <laughs> of the worst was doxing Steve. As fucked as the other think... things sound, me doxing Steve was kind of like, oh, yeah, no, I took it too far. Well, I don't know, Slug, the people you killed also was pretty bad. Look, <laughs> Matt, I told you that in confidence. Yeah, uh, well, uh, come should on, never tell man. Matt anything in confidence. We're gonna turn on the video. You a little hat made of like the skull and all that, man. What the fuck? We're gonna turn on the news one day and be like, "Angry Slug, known as Angry Slug, has been arrested for the uh, triple homicide of a oh, family." Boy. <laughs> Wait, no. Let me put my reporter voice. I like the idea that the timeline goes like 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 that scenario 
um it's it's matt flipping through the channels and then he like lands on the news and he's like ah fuck it i'll watch and then that comes up and it's like angry slug you know c- uh, commits mass genocide on a, a like a room filled with uh, of unsuspecting <laughs> teenagers or something like that and then he stops and then he stops and then he looks down at his uh his 3d printed leg and he sees the name on the side of the leg and he and it says slug and he and he throws it out the window he rejects it <laughs> you know the, the, yeah. the first time he goes to touch grass and yeah. like yeah that's just thrown you know the head. uh the leonardo <laughs> dicaprio meme where he points at the television Yes. Yeah, that That's would be you. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like <laughs> now, breaking news: Kevin Hill, also known as Angry oh. Slug, did you just dox me? <laughs> <laughs> I do my homework on my streams. I'm fine with people knowing my name now. See, I, I get a feeling you're gonna get mad at us one day. You're gonna fucking private. Oh, hell no! Hell no! I'm right, never so, gonna do that shit. Okay, okay, but I have hell to ask no. though: you do not want me to edit that out, right? I do not want you to edit anything I have said out. Oh, if you have a son, can you please call him Benny or Bobby? <laughs> Bobby Hill. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. I grew up well, on Boy, Benny, right. Bill. It's great. Peggy. Yeah, it's the Peggy. best anime we've got. It oh, is. Yeah, and then you've got to talk to them in nothing but the King of the Hill accent, whatever that accent is. God damn it, like, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to grow up and you know become a, a propane distributor now. God well, damn Sarge, it. Uh, you, you broke through. You finally got featured on now recording uh, the podcast episodes. How do you feel? Well, let's see how long the good boy arc stands. I think uh, we should delete this episode, actually. Do we, do, we tell him now, do we tell him now or do we tell him later that we're having slow day? <laughs> I think he knew, he knew we were having it. I tweeted it out. Yeah, Beavis. I knew that. I tweeted out. Like, I tweeted out. We got ghosted. Oh. Anyone who wants to come on, is now now's your time. <laughs> and Slug came. Wow. <laughs> Unlike oh, the truth, Slug has initiative. He was right. Oh, god damn! <laughs> what the fuck? I have Kiwi farmers as mods and stuff, and they don't say that as much. <laughs> what is that word? I'm scared to repeat it now. What does it mean? Uh, let's, let's just move on. We're just gonna move on. It's, it's uh, me and no, me and Toxic go back, bitches. Dynamic duo. <laughs> It's a I town like in South Ash. Oh, oh God. I, I, I like this. So it's it's now recording's a bad boy arc, and it's Slug's good boy oh, arc. It's oh, just it's a mixing oh. of yeah. Now you All see what it is. Fear. Yeah. All I, feel I know like, is fear. <laughs> I feel like we All have right. a good. I feel like we have a good dynamic though, right? With the whole thing, because you got me and Toxic on our side. You got Matt and Dmax on their side, and then we have Mitch, the one that we're all trying to groom. <laughs> Mitch constantly He's being like, "What the hell does that mean?" Come on, beavers, take better targets. He's working on it. I'm the oldest one here. Well, Slug, exactly. thank you for giving us content. Greatly appreciate no it. Glad you could tell your story for the millionth time. Can't wait yeah. to see you again when you tell it again when you get uh, when you go off the yeah. off the walls and start fucking going Let's crazy go. again. I'll make Goodbye, sure Slug. to 3D print you a leg. Bye bye. I have a golf club at the Royal Troon Golf bye. Club. Bye. What? There's a there's a place in Scotland called the Royal Troon Golf Club. Oh, in Jesus. Scotland. Yeah, because it's not a real slur. It's not a real slur yet. It's oh, according to Urban Dictionary, it is. Well, now oh, it's a real a slur. Oh, oh, a new, that's an Urban Dictionary. It's not a real slur. Brand new slur. Hey, Matt, how many genders are there? Uh, two. <laughs> uh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I believe the answer now? was 54 Ooh. plus. Is that a hot take now? Ooh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Thank- I think what you meant to say, I think what you meant to say, Matt, is that there's two sexes. There you right? go. There you go. Gender, gender, it's a spectrum. Gender, man. yeah, it's a spectrum, like autism. Okay. Yeah, I just want to know how transgenderism can exist at the same time as non-binary. I've been trying to figure that out for fucking years. Oh, yeah, I was, I was going to ask Jalen, but... Wait, sorry, what'd you say? I was making the the twelve year old binary joke with the ones and the zeros and the I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna see oh, this. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. well, that's fair. I mean, the non-binary, the hex code, bro. Just please, you know, binary. I doc, so I guess technically. Well, no. So see, that's my plan. Is one day we're gonna get caught recording a call, right? And I'm gonna be like, guys, I say it at the end of the podcast every time. Now recording is always recording. True. True. <laughs> Thanks oh so much. Oh god. Everyone, uh go check out now recording. It's pretty chill, pretty poggers. It's a pretty poggers uh show. Uh needs more beavers, more slurs. And in the spirit of maggot edits, again, more slurs.
Let me also uh go, we have that. Then we put it at oh five. There we go. Three hour thirty-five. And now We're gonna annoy Alpha Russ real quick. We're gonna bother Alpha Russ. I think it'll be very funny. Because if we can annoy Alpha Russ, it'll be content fueled. I don't know. I, 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 Do you guys I, I, ever I... wonder if lobsters are real? No. No, but did you know there was 11 billion crabs missing from the ocean? Yeah, I'm not going to say why I know that. You Hitler son of a bitch. Look, the crabs had it coming. All because of lobsters. Uh, Look, man. I was feeling crabby. I hate that you just said that. Why? You're bad. <laughs> okay, yep, yep. so Mari, Mari wants your foreskin, Russ. Mari wants your I... foreskin. She's married. It's not for sexual reasons. Fucking pervert. Yeah, rabbis you... eat them. You pedophile. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> How? When did you become Hugin? Uh, no, if I was uh... Hugin, I would have said that, but I was sitting there going like... Oh, what are you? Pedophile. 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 Oh, uh, Go Russ, now. check the now recording server. I made things. I know. I seen it. <laughs> we should get all of those tattooed on Beaver's titties. Why? Why not? Imagine the no, content. Okay, you know what? No, unironically, if if we just let Beavers just tattoo his own face on his ass, that would that would be the most perfect based moment ever. That really would. God, mm -hmm. I just finished reacting to my episode of now recording, so that was fun. Mm. Mm. You, watch your you ever episode? need? By the way, the song of the day, because I know you're streaming, uh, the song of the day is uh, SOB by Nathaniel Radcliffe in the Night Sweats. Oh, poggies. Very pog. Yes. Oh, man. It's sort of country, but it's sort of honky-tonk at the same time. Honky-tonk. So Do you say right. Daniel Radcliffe? Daniel uh, uh, Radcliffe. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Same oh, thing. Nathan I'm like... It's I'm the like, same thing. What do you mean? Do you not hear I thought he, the N word? I thought he said. Oh, I. Thought I, he said, <laughs> I thought he said Daniel Radcliffe. I'm like Harry Potter does country music. It's fairly Amis. It's fairly Amis. This is called "You Stole My Tractor." <laughs> you stole my tractor and fucked it on the road. <laughs> It Actually, stole my so wife you... and my random dog code. Slug, do you got pictures, uh, PNG photos of of uh, Salva pancakes? Yeah, why? Can you send me a couple? I'm making a thumbnail. Ah, uh, fine. I'm playing a game though. Listen, right, chat, time. we gotta understand. The tractor has a pussy that's so poggers. Oh no, please don't tell me you just scared away the only woman in this call. Breezy's still okay, here. What do you mean? Okay, good. I was sitting there going like, Yeah, that was this, flatly. This is how we can have nice things. No, you scared away. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> what did I do? You flatly. did everything. You scare away flatly. How dare you? You're just mad because I'm Pog. You know what? Your dog's not a meme. It's just a dog. You're just mad because the dog has more riz than you. I mean, all dogs have more riz than most humans. It's automatically. Yeah. Chat, I'm not being cringe. 
I'm gonna look at chat and just make sure. I'm not being cringe. Oh, 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 Mar, Mar, Mar is telling me that you are being cringe. Mari is short and uh, stinky. Don't listen to her. Uh, but she has m a million different ways to kill you. And in my she's case. still short. Wait, hold on. Lisa, did you just say traitor? It's tractor. You gotta believe about the tractor with the track to see going along the yeehaws. Yeehaw with the tractor pussy. It's so juicy, you know the tractor Alpha pussy. <laughs> Alpha King GX, yes. Lol. Look at that tractor pussy again. All right, all right. So I get enough with the tractor pussies, okay? Look, man, I'm going to unironically write a country song based around having sex with a tractor. Oh, my. F uh, hi, hi, guys. Huggy! Oh, gosh, huggy. Welcome oh, no. back. Wait, wait, wait who the f Oh. <laughs> what is my name, bro? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. Why is that my that? name? Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna see who did it. Who did it? Oh, it's oh, Spaceman. Jesus know, Christ. Yes, Dude, Alpha who? King, we are a very interesting bunch. Mari, you're not going to end me. I'm just going to give you cheese, and then you will no longer be angry. Wait, who made my name that? Who do, I want to know because I'm I know Skelly does that. I want to know that thing. Imagine sure. the lesbians. Who Are they going to activate? Maybe. Admit it. Admit it. Who did it? Me. I'm trying to find it. I did it. My cock is too powerful. Well, I know Skelly and 8030 like literally do that all the fucking time. So. You ever Man, wonder both. if fish are uh, real? I am both Skelly and 8030. Well, no, Mari. You don't need both. chocolate. You need cheese. That's all you need. You all only right. need oh. cheese. Or chocolate cheese. What about chocolate cum? All right, where what is... The oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I finally broke Huggy! Let's oh. go! God. I've seen many things in my life, and I've heard things in uh, my life. And this shit wave slug kills me. So, who are the universally oh, hated Alpha, commentary what, what spurgs now? You're Alpha, the good guy, I am like, the good guy. I'm the wiggliest I, noodle. I, I can't... It, I, I'm i trying to find it, but I can't find it at the moment. So, I'll, so, I'll tell you about it later, alright? What do you mean, Lisa? I'm great for travel. Tell Lisa uh, to hide. She Alpha, can you hear you. With, you have a problem well, with, Lisa, like, a black man standing fuck. up for themselves? I miss you, buddy. What? What's no, up, Huggy? Like, How dude, done, I'm, I'm a little bit busy I, trying to look at thumbnail and all that. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Can we you bully Alpha Russ for being a virgin? I'm just happy that, he, that Pika uh, gets to speak now. That's all yeah. I'm happy about. Oh, Pika's been freed from Hugin's basement? Yep. We uh, unshackled her from her chains. I am just curious. <laughs> Eugen, podcast... Steve, Sen, uh, yep. Oh, I, I'm just okay. curious what podcast would sound like with Slug and uh, someone else. Like, um, a great two hours. Now, I know well, what you, you should do is kind of like apply to be Hugh John's new co host. Oh, no. <laughs> Hell no. Just hell fucking no. Out of yeah, everything, just hell fucking no. It would be so fucking funny. It would like, be terrible. Because I just I curse mean, him out the entire time. I don't, I, I don't <laughs> feel <laughs> like you are the cursing type. Legitimately, oh. I feel like you're a very nice person that, that's just very serious about shit. But I could like, be wrong. Like, I mean, I've been oh, you have terrible. not... Um, I've had... Uh, I think a while back, I know Russ has heard one of my infamous just angry rank rants, just the angriest rants that I have.
Just me fucking losing my shit. So let me get Steve mm -hmm. the lead or Maya. Um, one of them was against Hugin, and it's just like me getting really pissed that the guy is claiming I rape oh. my dog because I have pictures of my dog on my like, computer. What? Dude, I've been called. I've been called worse. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> Wait what? You said. That. Like, Hugin is a pathological so liar. Said that he liked about you was your dog. Who, Hugin? Yeah, so that's weird. Hugin's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've said this before. Hugin's a fucking piece of shit. And, uh, yeah. I hope the worst for him. Yo, someone invite me to the 8030 fucking Discord. I need a fucking dog shit. You gotta join the Discord. That's how you get into the Discord, dude. It's like Fight Club. Yeah. You gotta join Fight Club to get into Fight Club. It's not that yeah, hard. Dude, to be fair, I would love to do a podcast with Slug. Hey, it, if you want. If it's a one -off, even if it's just a one-off where, where I get like an hour of, of your time, Slug, and just like... I don't know, because I think, it, like, again, people just don't understand what it means to collaborate with people. Everyone just assumes you need to be the A player, and you got to be the second fiddle. No, you can just interact, but you, you can play along. I just honestly, vibe. Honestly, I think podcasts are more interesting when they're not agreeing with each other all the time. So, like, I want mm -hmm. two people that absolutely hate each other to do a podcast. <laughs> Yeah, uh, me and me and Skelly are uh, pretty much hate each other. You should do a podcast. <laughs> no, that would not work at all. Uh, exactly, it's the risk. The risk. I mean, Where's the reward? Me, yeah, the reward look at Tommy. Tommy and Team Star fucking hated each other. So. Yeah, but yeah, look at where that went. Biggest, and, yeah, but that's because. I don't know. I think I think it's just more fun when the, when it's just constant arguing. I mean, yeah, that's what's but it's exhausting for the person that's fucking doing it. <laughs> yeah, it just slowly runs into the same thing. Oh yeah, it, fight, 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 fight. Oh, by the way, do you have any uh, do you have any beef with Van Luke Slug? Uh, no. Why? No, I'm just trying to run down people uh, that I know that you... I, I just want to know if... Because uh, I like me and Luke, and He's I think around. he's pretty cool. And, like, I just was curious. Because, like, I don't know who hates you or who has a problem with you, Slug. Not, you just not have to ask them. They'll tell you pretty up front. Yeah, Either but I feel like or... you have a little redemption arc. That, that's a funny <laughs> fucking thing. I feel like even... Chris doesn't hate you, but that's wherever the case is. Yeah. I'm just, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, continue. Sorry about that. I look forward to Chris. I look forward to the Chris and Narc fucking. Yo, this dude just said the N word like a hundred times in Discord. Who? Oh. Who? This dude, Jiminator. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys this. Oh, what? boy. In this Discord or the other one? Yeah. Uh, uh, on different Discord. I don't think oh, it's okay. this one. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna that. I'm gonna fucking disappear to go hang out in my caller server. I might kidnap Alpha Rust later. Oh. Uh, okay. It's okay. Don't Russ. forget the chloroform. Don't worry. We'll just lure him with cheese. Come, 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 eat, come, eat, come, eat, come, eat, come, eat, in the tummy. Ooh, ooh. I completely forgot that I was in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's suddenly I'm hearing, like, two of you. Like, what? God damn it. Oh, man, I've been in here for a minute. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I dinner around nine. Bruh. On the bright yeah. side, though. Things are looking up. Yeah. E. You got your own now recording, and they even let you make the thumbnail. Yeah. That's awesome. E. 
end. For now, I'm just gonna chill a little bit while, before I cover the fucking Tucker Carlson getting fired. Because uh, Jesus yeah. Christ, that was funny. Yeah, um, Don Lemon got fired too. Yeah, like every like they both got fired, and I'm over here like, wow. Is huge in Russian? More than likely, yes. Yeah. Is he a uh, wife beater? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, Merchant, I was kind of in a different conversation. I was kind of engrossed in that and uh, Billy being a little, being a little loaf at the moment. Do do do. Oh, so chat tonight. Y'all are going to get to see me work on a video for one of my classes. A Ooh. video where I just make a story about the Vietnam War using capybaras. What? So, uh, yeah. My, oh, yeah. my You're making a video about Vietnam. About the Vietnam you War, yes. Using and capybaras. It will basically be a fictional story set during the Vietnam War. With capybaras. With capybaras. It'll be like one of the History Channel alien shows, but it's just like about the Vietnam War. And it's just talking, and it just gives like a historical take with voiceovers and all of that. I swear, sometimes I love your fucked up mind, because that sounds amazing. <laughs> It's going to, like, my YouTube members first before I send it off to my university. By the way, random fact, in 2020 alone, more, more people died from putting foreign objects up their ass, 287 total, than have been killed with AR-15s in the last five years. Yes, Sigs, it is like the whale war. Why is Free Billy Eilish trending? What happened? How much Badussy was Badussin? The Whale War thing oh. was good, though. What do you mean? Okay, wait a minute. This is... Someone literally climbed the KTLA Tower in Hollywood with a double-sided sign and a guitar. And one side says Free Billie Eilish, and the other says MK Ultra Sex Slaves Donald Marshall Clones. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> there, I'm looking at pictures of the dude. Hang on, I'll send it to you. I am deeply confused. So am I. All I know there is pain. All I know is pain. All I know is pain. It's apparently about the Donald Marshall Revolution, which is wild. Oh, Jesus. So, Donald Marshall <clears throat> is someone who claims to be ex-Illuminati. Illuminati. I'm looking at his website. Microchip heads is a thing that he's talking about on here. Oh, God. Yeah. Selling immortality, body snatching, and the man who sold the world. The Illuminati, we have Under Alien Control, Queen Found Guilty, The Fast and Furious Death of Paul Walker. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, there's a whole section about cloning. And then at the very end, we see Severed Feet. Oh Jesus. I know exactly what that's referring to, actually. So for a while, I think in Canada, on the shore, just random... Is Canada even real at this point? Yes. Are but, you um, sure about that? I'm pretty sure. I've not um, seen enough evidence to confirm that. Someone tweeted Billie Eilish sleeping peacefully as free Billie Eilish trends, not knowing she needs to be set free. Doo doo doo. Oh god, there's video. There's video of this crazy bastard. I'm more laughing because, uh... Salvo threatened to sue Oracle. Yeah, f 
fuck Oracle, but it's still funny. Wait, what? Yeah, over the Fireball show that he's hosting. Despite the fact that neither of them own the trademark or any form of copyright to Fireball, and it's the whiskey company that has any real say about the usage of the name. Hmm. So it's just like, bruh. At that point, it's still just the same stupid shit over and over and over again. Pretty much. Yeah. I just post in the other Discord. I just posted. Uh, so apparently, Billie Eilish needs to be freed, and I just completely derailed the entire conversation. <laughs> Remember, chat. Lesbians are weird, but they are also short. So if you give them cheese, they will be your friend. Oh my fucking god! I was being flirted with today! (laughs) God damn it! I was being flirted with! Fuck! God damn it! Ah! Fucking hell. <laughs> Can't have peace for shit. Yeah, this is completely fucking random. Oh my god. Yeah. Why do you think? Because I'm like, God fucking damn it. What? Did that. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to get the pro- thought process that got you to this point because that came right the fuck out of nowhere. I'm s- I'm just mad. Now okay, I'm mad. When did this happen? First question: When like did this happen? Like two p.m. <laughs> it took. It took me <laughs> ten hours. I know. My brain's on dial-up. What made, what made that click? I in died in a video game. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay. You died in a video game. Yes. And that made you realize that someone was flirting with you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's so hard to understand? Where do I begin? <laughs> How did getting killed in a video game make you realize that someone was flirting with you? I it, it's not it's not clicking in my head, hun. Ringo Burr. You know what? That's probably the best explanation I'm going to get. Um, Ringo Burr! <clears throat> I'll be right back. Burr! What do you mean it's random? It makes perfect sense, chat. Chat, it makes perfect sense. What do you mean? <coughs> Soup. It's so papilla. Ay, 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 so papilla. Ooh. Um, ba, ba, bum. It, what do you mean? It makes perfect sense. I'm, uh, bro, what? It just makes perfect fucking sense. I don't understand. Sigs, you're stinky and cringe. (coughs) (coughs) So, (coughs) papi, El 
说爸比呀、啊。Jeez. Oh, wait. I should try and annoy Badwick to get in. I want to annoy Badwick. Oh, wait. Hey, Abby. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Yee. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Yee. Yeah. What are you guys up to? Eh, I'm just chilling. I'm trying to chill for a bit before I get started on making a video for my class. So, yeah. That's fun. On the bright side, Gabe now recording some little sticker designs. That's cool. Yeah. They're in the now recording Discord. I'm not part of that Discord. You better be drinking water or I'm taking your leg. Leave mine alone. You know what? I'm going get... to. The Moon Children group. Oh, Space Man's calling me. Good. Continue. The, um,. Other Discord, we have a group where we have kind of a quote unquote barter system. Yeah. Someone actually traded her husband for Ren coins. <laughs> Based. One of the things that apparently we can buy with our Ren coins, well, aside from significant others, we can get cockies, which is the dick shaped cookies. I got some of those. I'm about to add, and someone was talking about. Being able to get limbs and shit. I'm going to see how many it's going to take for me to get a leg for you. Hang on. Leg. Okay, let's... I want to check something out real quick, chat. Okay, so... do 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 See here, chant. Out of all the wild and wacky things that I've seen, it's always nice um, seeing how some of the shit does. <laughs> some of this nonsense is always fun. Okay, let's yeah. see here. Now I do this. Writing a TV thwip. I'm sorry, hon, but ten hours. That's my only response. Just I am sending you all of the head pats. Hey. You sweet summer child. I got confused. <laughs> okay, how? No, I'm legitimately asking how. Mm. <laughs> Me is not an answer. Okay, chat. So. So here is the task that I have been given. The task is write a three minute script for a television broadcast. The subject of your story, rodents of unusual size, the capybara. This can be a news story or a feature. You may choose to write any kind of story about the world's largest rodent. There are a number of assets, video, stills, and sound bites that you may choose to help you write your story. You are not required to use these assets 
If you find others that are better for your story, then you may use them. But you must tell me where they came from or if you made them up, blah, blah, blah. You do not need to produce an actual video. A successful project will have all of this. Strong story, clear beginning, middle, and end. <laughs> hey, so, do you need a full leg or will just the kneecaps suffice? Full leg. A strong story with a clear beginning, middle, and end, free of typos and grammatical errors. A voiceover, at least one soundbite, at least two segments of video, at least one still image, and at least one sound effect. You will include a description of your story above your script, telling me in a sentence or two what your story is about. <laughs> no, we're not going because I can't use the one song. Okay, let's go here. There's one song that I really want to fucking use, and it's just, uh, let's see here. Ah, oh, God. Vietnam War. Music. Which one was it? Um. Ah. Was it CCR, Fortunate Son? Yep. Look at that. Yep, CCR Fortunate Son. Yeah, I'll be able to grab that. <laughs> oh my god. The one Vietnam song. Yep, exactly. The one and only singular Vietnam War song. Now... I'm going to be the shit postiest person I can because Jesus fucking Christ. Like all of this nonsense. Yeah, I feel like it would be a perfect thing to use just for the sake of nonsense. See here. Um, do, 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 so. Yeah. So I'm basically going to work backwards from this just for the sake of I'm a little bit of an idiot, but I'm much better at, uh, well, working backwards with this kind of stuff because I'm able to figure out like how I want it instead of just planning it out ahead of time because then I'm able to obviously work backwards and that's fine for me. But, okay, so we have the music. And, uh, yeah. Oh, God. So, do, 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 three column format, dedicated to timing, video and audio. And do that Winston Capybara Hill Winston Capybara Hill yes 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 I'm just I'm just enjoying the fact that the uh now recording episode was pretty good and yes chat I did make this thumbnail for them it looks great dude yep I still want to, 
Because I found this whole thing very entertaining. Uh, let's see here. Hugin still tries to be a little bitch. Because that's what he is. A pussy. Um, yeah. Let's uh, continue on with this at least. Okay, so we're going to do a new project. This will be a uh, happy nom. It'll be capybara Vietnam. Preference. Let's see here. There we go. Based. So you guys won't be able to hear the music. That's mainly just because, well, yeah. Copyright. Yep. But I'll basically be uploading the thing to it just for the oh. sake of, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to retreat back into the chat. I'm yeah. going to clip. I'm going to clip that, because holy fuck, that was great. What? Oh my god, she was flirting with me! Oh god. <laughs> Have a good night, hun. Peace. Okay. There we are. So, right now, what we will do is uh so we kind of get rid of that little intro that little outro no worries hmm <clears throat> okay Then, Vietnam War footage. Um, Am I gonna enjoy making this? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Yo, Skelly, what's up, man? Oh, fuck, I just been I saw your episode on that recording. Yeah. Uh I just have a question, you know, like how did you meet Chris Hansen? You guys didn't talk about that. How'd you meet him? So I was contacted by Anonymous Gene because I was uploading the Discord calls first, then Anonymous Gene contacted me. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is he an actual sack of shit like you said it? Or? He is because he wanted me to l continue lying. And after a while, it's like, yeah, no, it ain't worth it. Oh, what makes you put into question the other stuff he's exposed, his NBC Dateline show, whatever the fuck. Yeah. What have you been up to besides being on that recording? Um, currently, I'm editing together a uh, video for a uh, university class and uh, I'm making it about the uh Vietnam War but as if it's done with uh capybaras. Okay. Why, why why is it that when I tune in I hear some weird shit like that? <laughs> why not? It's it's harmless. Anything going on with the uh, Twitter retard? No, he's been uh coping in comments and such. Oh. It's funny because 
when my situation was happening, he was saying that, you know, I'd block that freak, you know. Yeah, block him. You know, he was yeah. sucking up to Austin, but what's funny is that he took my photo and he made it about Mitch. Like, I don't I even think, get it. Like, how? I didn't say anything about Mitch. I just posted it. And he turned it about Mitch. He said, oh, so then this, since this is how he did it with Abby, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with, I'm going to claim this is Mitch. And then that's what he did. I'm like, what? How? How do you come to that conclusion? I don't even know, man. Like, there's a lot of stupid shit that goes on in this community. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I'm going to soon come back, but I'm going to just say this is like, this is the last time fucking Abby ever gets a W over me. This is the last oh, fucking Jesus time. Jesus Christ. I've been doing my research, uh, not just on her, but catching, watching some other like old shit that I missed out on. Like the Stardust versus the World uh, stream, a couple now recording episodes. You know, yeah. Hey, I wish you luck. Anything. Anything you recommend I should watch, whether it involves you or someone or anyone um, else? If we're being honest, watch whatever piques your interest, because after that point, you're able to dig further. Because hmm. I know, especially with this episode, you've been fucking accused of almost every single imaginable crime under the sun. Yeah. And yet, I come out looking okay. <laughs> Oh, like, did you see what fucking Matt Pitt tweeted with fucking Finn East? Oh, God, what did he tweet? <laughs> Jesus. Fucking go, go to Matt Pitt's fucking Twitter, I guess. I guess Finn East was fucking attacking Matt Pitt. <laughs> I don't fucking know in a, in a stream or something. Jesus, I'm trying to find it. Um, it should be I don't think it's recent. Uh... I think it was. Uh, check. Well, are you looking under tweet or are you looking under tweets and replies? Tweets and replies. Okay. I think it's he tags Finney. It's mockery. It's mockery. F because he changes his fucking name so many times. It's, it's mockery annoying. something. And then he has an image uh, attached to it of like Finney's in the comment section. <laughs> if not, I'll just send it to you right now. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I'm able to find it. I think you have to send it to me, because what the fuck? Uh, found it already. Alright, let's see. No, I don't want to fucking block map it. What the fuck? No Twitter. Alright, there you go. Well. Alright, I just sent it to you via Twitter DMs. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Oh, God. What the fuck? You think that's actually him? I think it's him. That sounds like him. Yeah, it is. It's Finn East. <laughs> this guy is Mike the weird. Bike made a fucking... He fucking, what is it? Tyrone the birth controller, Mike the bike, made a stream uh, with, uh, about Finn East going over the whole thing. I think you should watch it. It's pretty fucking hilarious. Uh, and maybe. I think Matt Pitt, Matt Pitt was in it. And fucking, what is it? Uh, and I think, what is it? Finn E is supposedly in the chat. Tyrone says it's not him. I think it's him. He said that he would send a fucking privacy complaint to Mike the Bike for making fun of him. Or some Bro, shit. Saying something what the like, fuck? I don't know. That is I so think, fucking weird. I think if it is real, then Jesus, he's pulling a ghosty. If not, then... That's fucking dedication right there, but it I don't know, is. I feel like it is. Because the way he says things, and the way like he said it in Mike's chat, and in this and this screenshot, because I don't know which Zidely stream it is. Uh, 
it, I don't know. It, from looking at the evidence, seems like it, but who knows? And then Chris also saying that, and then Chris like showing a screenshot of him getting blocked along with Hannah Animal for no reason. I don't yeah. know. Makes it seem <laughs> like I I don't get it. Every time that like fucking Finn East gets into a controversy, it's always the dumbest fucking shit. Every fucking time. I mean, the dude, like, he runs his mouth, but, like, he just, he, like, you saw how he folded under Zipsat. Like, you saw how he folded. Yeah. Like, I'm not even that, joking. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, he was showing more aggression to you and fucking Saggy. And, you, and even though it wasn't even about you guys. like <laughs> That's one thing I didn't even understand. Like, what the fuck did I do? Why, are you, why yeah. was he bitching at me like what the shit <laughs> he's like, like oh god why do you always invite him 80 30 <laughs> god damn he he's more bitchy than maya uh, i've gone and okay this is i think i don't know if this is because i know 80 i know 80 30 was talking about finney so i don't know if this is public or private or not i don't really care because it's finney's he blocked me the bridge is burnt but he we I had a I had a VC with eighty thirty and Finney sort of uh you know sort of kind of like trying to get an understanding why Finney's block eighty thirty, and he was saying that he was annoyed how in this community he hates it how people make fun of him but we let people like Chad King Black Mialba you uh and fucking Sabo get away with shit but with his shit people keep bringing it up and that's the only thing they make fun of him for. I'm like bro, what they're the in the fuck? commentary community. Like, what do you care if people, you know, give Slug a second chance or if they talk to him? That's one thing I never understood. Some people fucking are like, oh, Slug should never be forgiven. I'm like, okay, that's fine, I guess. But some people want to give me another chance. It's up to those people, not up to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, why do we let Slug and Dragging and all these other degenerates in fucking chat? We should ban people like Alex and Spondyle and Slug. He's literally a doctor. Why do people make fun of me? I'm like, dude, chill out. And that's why he's like saying, like, fuck the commentary. I'm only following the artist, like, all this and that. I don't know. The Slug, dude needs to... him in private? Did I? Did you dox did you dox him in private? Did you tell him that I found your mom and I'm gonna make what is it? I'm gonna make her clean your bathtub from now on. <laughs> no, that would have been funny, but no. Since I'm here and we're talking about Finney's, it's always a tradition that any stream I'm on, I should play this video. This video is uh, hilarious, and this is this is Finney's kryptonite right here. Oh, this is the God. one video he absolutely hates. And by the way, this is the only time I'm ever promoting fucking Tyrone. All right, fuck Tyrone. <laughs> oh boy, he's unfunny. I don't really find that funny. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, I just send it to you on Discord DMs. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? The Dude, what the serious. fuck? Just what the fuck is that? Admitting it as a flex. He was trying to flex. How do you how do you flex <laughs> about that? That's what I'm confused by. Like how is that a flex? Can you can can you make tea and clean your bathtub? Yeah. <laughs> oh my Why god. Why wouldn't I? How is that the big like dub over everyone? Bro, <laughs> that shit's unhinged. That is, that is his proudest achievement. He said that with chest. 
Uh, <laughs> I, and the thing is, I've tricked him into talking about cleaning bathtubs too. I'm not even joking. He's gone into detail. Bro, Finn's fucking like, retarded. He's unironically he retarded. That's why some people liked him at first, because, like, it was easy to get him in these tangents, and that's why some people like Tyrone kept him around. I mean, he would try and, he would always kind of pick fights with fucking Alex and all these other people. But then when he started getting a little, then when, like, he got genuine criticism, he he have a massive ego over it. I'm just, like, like really? the Some people can't be platformed. Like... I'm not saying, oh, never uh, bring on Finney's. Do what you want. I'm not going to stop you. I can't do shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some like, people you kind of let it go to their head. Yeah, like, if you can't fucking handle criticism against you, genuine. Like, if you can't tell the difference between someone like fucking 8030 trying to help you or fucking, you know, someone like Cat King making fun of you, you can't tell the difference then I'm sorry, but you, you're you not allowed to be in this community. Like, you can't, if you can't understand the difference between a joke or criticism, you can't be in this fucking community. I'm just, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> a guy I'm... that does more <laughs> fucking cities. Huh? Oh. Sorry, I didn't hear you. My brain No, no I just off. said that I said that you fucking do more. A little guy that probably does more than fucking Finney's. Honestly, yeah. This man is. I don't. I don't understand why he still has like everyone fucking blocked or some shit, thinking like that's some dub over everyone. When in reality, it's some of the dumbest fucking thing I could see. Like out of he does everything this manual too. yeah i know it's manual it. i know that it's it's um, fucking yeah, weird not, yeah not many people knew that i didn't know but like five thousand like, accounts yeah like 5k accounts is a lot you really need to you need to get like you really need to go over that fucking stream with mike the because it's it's some of the most hilarious fucking shit ever. Even stuff I didn't fucking know about. And it's it's genuine good on entertainment right there. True. But fucking hell, but uh, unfortunately Finneast, I guess, is no longer associating with commentary. So we can't make fun of him as much as we want to, but No, can you still can. Shit on. Like you can make fun well, no, of like, him. Well, no, like, there's no new stuff. That's what I'm saying. We probably won't get new stuff out of him. Like him on stream or anything like that. True. Is that recording going to go live today? Um, they uploaded my episode, so maybe. I don't know. I hope they do, because honestly, I want to see if Matt brings this up. <laughs> to piss off fucking you Finney she's gonna get even more mad I don't know like the Vietnam War backpack let's go there we go like I'm just now having to build a Vietnam War capybara in Photoshop so sounds fun Capybaras are awesome. Too bad you can't fucking own them. They are awesome. And I'm I'm mad we can't own them either. Like, god fucking damn it. I want one. Imagine the chaos. California, and by the way, I'm not doxing myself here because I've said where I'm from. California is probably the most strictest when it comes to owning exotic pets. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, like that this. makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to tweet this out because, of course, it's fucking great. Uh, live now working on a happy blappy video.
I put a backpack and a helmet on a cappy blappy. I am an artist. I'm beautiful. Well, gotta go back to. I'm cooking a pizza, so I gotta go look at that. But you have a great stream, Slug. Good Peace out, you, man. Slug. Drink and water. Also, I will. And Finney's, if you're watching this, you probably won't. But if you are, clean my bathtub along with Slug. You fucking <laughs> egg <laughs> Also, one thing, this motherfucker accused Zip Zap of doxing him, even though he put his own face out there. Oh my god. <laughs> With a Jesus. fucking hat that says Alabama. God. <laughs> Have a good night, man. See ya. See ya. Are you never seen like that? I just thought they were like, Russ. No, Russ. Russ. No. Russ. No. Russ. No. no. It's actually good news. What? I'm working on a capybara video. Oh shit! I'm in. So Damn. the capybaras are in Vietnam. Oh no! As you can see in general. Yes. And uh, it's for my university class. The professor let me do a Vietnam War news story, but instead of humans, it's capybaras. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, uh, Rosemary, Russ, I, I, I need you absolutely... to voice a capybara. Why? Why not? Okay. Thank you. Just send me details. But, but no, uh, Rosemary, I would absolutely let uh crush me with her thighs. This is like. Whenever they were making fun of her weight and all that, I sat there going like, "Hell no, girl, you beautiful. I don't care." What the fuck should I just join into? What are you talking about? <laughs> we're talking about female wrestlers who will let a absolutely devastate us. He is very horny, like you were the other night with uh. uh look, it's Badwick. Badwick. Oh, it's Mr. Badwick. Sir, that's what bad with red demented go. Uh, he had to do his laundry because he has church tomorrow. I'm, get the I'm, out of your mouth, all right? I'm oh, just I'm, vibing. I'm drinking slushy, bro. Okay, I'm okay quick export. I haven't had one in so long. That sounds so crazy. Good. Wait, who, who made Breezy's name Breezy No Tits? <gasps> Wait, I forgot to add the gun. Um, I'm okay with it. It was me. I did it. <laughs> it was me. Uh, I forgot to give the capybara oh. a gun. Oh, yeah, right. who, who did you say we should let speak? Me. Pika. Oh, we should let Pika speak. Some important news just came up foot. Yeah, what? Man, you got no, you got no tits, Breezy? Hold on. Let me Breezy, okay, we Mark. need proof of titty. I need... Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to say. Can we uh, not bully the okay, only uh, female in this game? Uh, oh my uh, God, you, you, show you, you boobs, nerd! Show us your boobs. Show, us your, show boobs. us your tits, uh, Russ. Give us boobs, Russ. You, Russ, give us titties. Uh, give the cool. chat titties. We're live still. We need those titties, Russ. Russ, do them titties jiggle? Do they jiggle, do they jiggle, wiggle, wiggle? or do they fold? Also, uh, Russ, I'm jump? giving my server the Cappy Soldier emote, so I hope you enjoy. Okay. Can you make them clap? Um, <laughs> no. Send source, Russ. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> okay, the yeah, sticker is called I'm Cappy trying. Blasty. Check it out in general. I'm putting in the Cappy Blasty. No. Uh, Boom. Cappy Blasty, baby. Cappy Blasty. That's no. what I call my dickhead. What the oh, fuck? You are a dickhead. Oi, Govna. Oi, Govna. It's me, Huge On. Huge On. Oi, Govna. Oi, Govna. From bits and tea. No, we're not giving the Cappy Blappy 
the Cappy Blasty a gun. Cappy Blackbird. Cummy Blackbird? Crumpets and tea. Cummies and tea. Cummies? Quick, quick after Stannis Phillips. How many things do you have? Is it 50? All right, all right, here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the... Here comes the tits. It's the minted. What is up, Eddie? The mussy. You know who demented reminds me of? There demented, you go. we're putting on a wrestling promo. Me, Alpha, Formal, and you, and now Breeze. There you go, Sluggy. Hey, they're birds. What am I doing? You're what coming doing? into our wrestling promo. But, but you uh, know what? Kind of breezy, there. Gonna, there we go. Gonna... The Cappy Blasty is much larger. You're gonna throw formal into barbed wire. Those are fire. bouncing tits. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I thought I was throwing breezy into. The you can't. She's barbed a woman. Wire. And a mother. Formal. Stone Cold formal, what did are you it. You gotta say her full name. It's breezy, no tits. Yeah, breezy, no tits. Whatever you say, bad, bad, bad dog one. Yeah, bad, 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 bad dog one. Dick. I mean, it's a Rikishi song. Rikishi entrance music. Chat, should man. chat? I'm gonna put a poll. Should I turn the Cappy Blasty into a sticker? The Cappy Blast Bird. Oh, I think you already know the answer. So yes, he's, he's the only one in this chat. <laughs> no, I'm putting up a poll, you little lobster. <laughs> he's the only one that votes. <laughs> But I I'm can't. I'm just a little guy. I am a little guy. What do you mean? No, oh, I'm a little guy. I'm taking uh, away your like... leggies. You got to like, You can't do what you, you already done to Matt Pitt. I know you took his leg. Hey, you shut the fuck up. All right. You don't. You don't. Turn it hey. into an emote. Hey. Where? We're on air right uh. now. Don't expose people. <clears throat> Let me tell you something, brother. <coughs> <coughs> That's okay, I would've, I would've, K-Fabe. K-Fabe. I would have took Matt Pitt's leg. K-Fabe. I would have took his leg. What? Jeff? I stole his leg. What? Yo, we all meet at TwitchCon. I steal Matt Pitt's uh, prosthetic leg. <laughs> oh, I love that. I stole his leg. What? That? What the fuck, Breezy? What, is what I do? You? I love it. Let's beat him with it. <laughs> Yo, her wrestling angle is going to be insane. I'm going to write something for you, Breezy. Right. She's going to be the new Zach Gowan. No. <laughs> you got to mention that I have no tits. No. <laughs> I got something better. Oh, oh yeah, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dress you up oh, like yeah. Riley Ripley, but oh, oh. in oh. red. Uh. No. We're gonna call you. Okay, Badwick, shut yeah, up. You're stinky. you don't have rights. And your finisher is good. You putting girls in your arms. I will suck you in the ass. Here comes the stinker. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Okay, so now we have Cappy Blapper Blasty. Okay, we have Cappy Blasty as an emote. Hopefully, no, and now. Finishing move is the Bronco Buster. There we go. The uh, emote. If we all refresh our streams, you are a member on the YouTube channel. You will be able to use Blasty. Why did it take you a whole minute to say that? Shut right the now. fuck up. Yeah, I am live. It is. Listen. Listen, Breezy's finisher is going to be the Rikishi, but I want to be the first opponent. Just saying, I just want to test out all the moves. You know what I'm saying, guys? I want to test out all the moves. <laughs> the what? You didn't even say the the move, right? It's called the Stink Face. Yeah, Breezy's move is going to be the Stink Face, but I want to be the first one to go. I got dibs. I'm going to try what? and get I mean, Rum to <laughs> voice a Capybara. Stink, like what? What the fuck? Hey, but Dussy. I think I'd stink. rather have no tits than fucking stink. <laughs> you could smell that response a mile away. I'd rather be tittyless. Like, can, can we? What do you All mean? Right, well, just like Badwick, have my finisher called. Badwick's like, here, so thing, now Badwick's gonna do the stink face. Breezy, can you do a 450 splash? Oh, Jesus. 
What the fuck are you talking about, Flatley? My yeah. God! Oh my God! Oh my God! And then Bree's gonna take a chair shot to the face. Can I hit her with the chair? Yeah. Hit her with the chair! I'm gonna take a table and just throw it at her because I hate women. Wait, 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 wait! You gotta light the the table on fire. And then throw her through it. I'm not putting her through it. I'm throwing the table at her. (laughs) Set the table on fire. I'm jumping off the turnbuckle with the table across my chest and breaking. Okay, it out. chat. I am now releasing the Cappy Blasty, the Cappy Blasty sticker. I don't think anyone's done that actually. Now that you I think also about finished it. it. What's the Cappy Blackbird? I'll make two dollar profit Has off of it. Anyone done that? There we go. It's a five dollar thicker. Very annoying. Russ, has anybody jumped off? Of a turnbuckle with a table and broke it uh, by landing on someone else. I don't oh, think Jesus. I have no idea. So, well, Dude, Rob, we just chat. If you uh, it? if you see, yes, uh, I use I the mean... same middle for both my thumbnail and the now recording one. So if I did that in the tables match, would my I opponent was just made lose? a very very horrible dark joke? <laughs> I am just. Uh, uh, Owen knew. Flatly new. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, when now. Are we just... Oh, we're going to get Slug showing you Slug Usi. Listen, that man almost died, Alpha, all right? Who, Chris no. Benoit? No. I, oh, I almost made a very, very horrible t- oh. dark joke that about... would probably oh. get the wrath of Keem on me. Oh, my, what the fuck are you talking oh. about? We spent. Chris Benoit didn't Someone almost said die. jump off a bridge. Nice. Oh, Etika. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, god uh, damn it. Uh, 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 Bobby yes. Snyder in here. Uh, you know, hey, that's I stupid. Just put the Sonic Mini Encore DLC. Let's go. Yeah. But, but we're all about dark jokes here, so, you know. True. How come Jeff, Har- how come Jeff Hardy could. could survive the fall, but Etika couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Don't ever say that again. I know. Commies in the 90s. Looking at all of the com. Oh, no. The oh, coms no. or the com? Com, commie, com, commie. Commie in the tummy. Commie, ooh, ooh, commie, wummies. Oh, apparently the broadcast was live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, Quake is available for. Quake? Since when do they do live streams? I thought it's recorded. I don't know. Mm. Well, the Interesting. Stop coming and they don't stop it's recorded. Obviously, stop it's recorded, but just live, idiot. Uh, well. No. Uh, you know what, chat. Uh, fun fact, uh, Tucker Carlson fired from, uh, Fox News, um, Don Lemon fired from CNN. Yeah. Not that surprising. Also, fun fact, chat, Slug is gay. You're British. (gasps) And apparently pays attention. What the fuck? He's he's gay and dumb now. (laughs) This is dumb gay. (laughs) Yo, bad dog, did you know you're British? That's crazy. Oi, blimey, mate. That. I've got bad teeth. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man, I've barely oh, had no. some bad teeth. Bad dog <laughs> finds yeah. out he's British and instantly gets bad teeth. Oh no, my face! Oh no, hello, oh, hello, I got bitten by the British people. Oh no, oh no, hey, oh no! My name is Jeremy oh, Clarkson. Bro. God save the queen, except she's already dead. God, God save, save the cumlings. You know, it's it just like, I feel God like if... save the queen. Cumlings? Oh, God wow. save the king, mate. Have you all ever heard of the... Have, have you all heard of the uh, vampire crab? Um, have you heard about 11 billion crabs? Hey, no. hey, hey, have you ever heard about yeah, 11 billion, billion crabs, but have you heard about this hey. thing called the vampire crab? <laughs> it really it Alpha, usually Alpha, turns you Alpha, into a crab. You ever see, Alpha, you ever seen the uh, clown that hides from gay people? Yes. 
I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, we fine. don't talk about Keemstar like that. God, see, uh, Flatley is on my wavelength right now. He, he knows. I'm trying to just uh, Flatley now. tomorrow night, Sons of the Forest. What's going on tomorrow night? I'm a, I'm gonna be at the studio. What are we doing? We doing Fuck. a diss. We doing a diss track, homie. The Sons of the Forest. Oh, but are you streaming that tomorrow night or what time? I mean, we can do it. We can do it Thursday night. Yeah, let's do it Thursday night because I'm a bit. Wait, ladies tomorrow. and gentlemen, I just been informed Amber Heard will officially return to Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. Oh, Some Jesus. have already gave it a review. Yeah. That's why I don't watch DC. Awesome. Let's go. Amber Heard's hot as shit. Oh, there you Amber go. Johnny, Johnny Depp didn't know what he was doing, bro. Amber, Amber, Heard, Amber Heard is Heard the shit. Amber Heard is the shiznit. Please poop on me, Amber. Amber Heard <laughs> fucking sucks. We're, we're, oh we're finding Breezy. out apparently uh, Flatly Breezy. has a scat fetish. Flatly has a scat fetish? Breezy. The scat fetish. How much do I gotta pay you for you to send me a uh, poop in a box? What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> what the fucking what? I mean, how much you willing to pay? What the <laughs> fuck? You're actually get. Yo, in real life though, I, I pay you. It is literally I, going I, down. In real life, I I would there sue you, you motherfucker. How dare you even suggest or even think of that? How much you wanna pay? You think somebody wants your poop? You ain't worth nothing no. but the yeah, nickels on my toes. Mean. I have people offering to eat my ass. I would that's imagine different. They that's different. That's fine yeah. dining, my oh, god. god. Eat the poop uh, of her ass, bitch. I would. I do not lick the booty hole. I do it, even though I haven't seen your face. But I do it. Nothing go. No, no. That's an exit only. Exit only, Alpha. No, no. God fucking damn. Honey, boo boo! Love, oh my god! I love, I love Jesus. eating women out, but it's not when the it gets to the booty hole. From the nope. source. Hey guys, nope. I fuck with you, nope. Alpha. I fuck with you. Nope. Listen, listen. Yeah. I'll, I will go down on any woman. Uh, pause. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I would, I would, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Like. But when it comes to the poop hole, all right. And when it comes to the poop hole. I'm and with there. that, I. And with that, I am just. You're, you you ran off it... like. Me? I no, I'm just Who wanting nope. to disappear. Goodbye. Jesus fucking Christ! That within itself just makes me want to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Have a great night. Bye. Jesus fucking.